Good morning. Oh, happy Friday. I decided to stay with the, the star theme, so it's Star Trek instead of Starcraft today. I thought maybe no, maybe you won't know the difference. <laughs> maybe no one will notice the difference. How are we doing? Good morning. fine good morning captain on deck good afternoon sj rugs good morning mr west good morning kanki kapla kanki doug good morning i would not even how are we doing zenon good morning as well harbor good morning Coffee. yeah my um my hands are doing too hot after uh, I think it's, I think it was a combination of, maybe, hello? No. Okay. I think it was a combination of Half-Life, because you've got, you know, you've got a click to shoot, <laughs> and, um, StarCraft. And I'm hoping that maybe my hand will repair, be repaired by next week, but we'll see. Um, because I was scrolling through the GOG sale yesterday, it was my, like, Bless you. Um, as soon as the camera's on, she's like, no, I don't want to be here anymore. All right, all right I'll see you later. Um, yeah, and it was, uh, I, c I couldn't even scroll through the fucking sale. I couldn't look at the gate because I, you know, you've got, you've got to click to look at the games. So let's see how we go. I've got my Xbox controller as well so that we can. Um... Hello. I tempt you over here with a coffee to smell? Are we gonna smell it? No. Okay. Thing is, I know, I think she is standing there for a fuss, but she, for some... Like, don't touch me. <laughs> don't touch me, but do touch me. But don't touch me, but do touch me. And then I'm gonna stand here and make you feel guilty for not touching me, even though I don't want you to touch me. Yes, it's both of those. It's both, it's both, Muller. It's both. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, it's the um, <laughs> it's the one with Obu Wan Spock in it, and he says, "May the." Where am I gonna go with this? May the prospering be with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was hoping nobody would notice it, <laughs> whether it was StarCraft or Star Trek, but it looks pretty good though, like the music, um, let me turn off my own music, you guys can see. Yeah, I just figured that it wouldn't have much clicking in it, so, you know, keep our fingers crossed that it doesn't. Um, I mean, all I've seen is the startup splash screen and it looks nice. Mm -hmm. And it's 20% off on the Steam sale right now. <laughs> so, is anybody get have, have you guys looked through the Steam sale yet? I haven't um I have not yet. I'm now just taking a quick uh, a quick look to see whether anything that I one is in the sale. Um, no, I haven't been on there yet, so. Nothing major. I know you were planning to get the, um, uh, this game, weren't you, Rooks? Yeah, I'm looking at my wish list, and at the moment it looks like 25%, and I'm like, that's not good enough! <laughs> Yeah, 25%. So, I really, I've been wanting to play Contradiction. You know, the FMV mystery game. I've been wanting to play it. But every sale, I think, ah, oh, you know, it's only 25% off. I'll wait a little bit and see whether it goes on a bigger sale. And every sale, it doesn't. <laughs> it still stays at the same amount, which maybe is, you know... Um, not saying it's not worth that amount, because it probably is, but 
Maybe I'll uh, actually pull the trigger this time. Hey, Alindra. They are. So I was just clicking around on Steam, and I've had to swap my swap my <laughs> swap my mouse to the better hand. Neither of them are terribly good, but the uh, the one that oper operates WSD is in better shape than the one that clicks. So, yeah. On deep sale, how co how cheap did it go down to? Because it always seems to be about eight pounds. Uh, for me, uh, twenty five percent off. Yeah, I am. I am looking for some new hands, but unfortunately, just none of them. None of them fit my vibe so far. You know, I need them to be able to knit, which is you know apparently a real niche for hands. You must construct additional pylons. Make it so. There's coffee in that mineral deposit. Yeah. But I am, um... Hey, Zach, good morning. Well, good morning. Um, I am keeping an eye out to see if there's anything I want on a Steam sale. I was thinking about picking up the Strange Horticulture game, which is like a murder mystery plant game. A company of glow trippers ready to go. <laughs> Send them through the nexus. Here's to the brave Captain oh, I am very Even brave. Kind of <laughs> I am very brave. Thank you, Rooks. Thank you. 45 months of bravery, right? <laughs> Very much. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of a claw at the moment, but it, I like I can outstretch it, but it hurts. But I've got to make sure it doesn't get too stiff. Hey, Haley. Hands are probably. I think they can do hand tra transplants, can't they? I think they look not the most aesthetically pleasing. Um, they look like you've ha have somebody else's hands on your hands. But I think they can do them. Um, I hope they can. Right, lads, do we want to get up Star Trek? Yeah, I don't know which hand I'm going to be using to operate the mouse, but we'll see. Right. Um, where am I? Here? Here. What, well, strange thing to experience having somebody else's hands? So, I think I saw that... Okay, you guys can, like, completely tell me that this wasn't true and that I was clearly looking at like a fake fake source but I think the person that I saw who had a hand transplant had the the skin tone of the person whose hands they got was slightly different to the hands that they had their skin like the rest of their skin tone and I think the skin tone changed on the hands that they, they changed to match up. It wasn't like a massive difference, but it made them made them look more like their hands. I think. I don't know. You can like you can tell me that's a like I'm shit talking, but I think that I saw that on the internet, which might have been also wrong. <laughs> oh, another streamer, sometimes streams strange talk culture and she seems to enjoy the chill vibes. Is it like a um evergreen game or does it have a story with a beginning and an end hey tutti good morning oh wow so you ideally want somebody who oh Haley, what if they've got a skill that you want like knitting do you get like a little bit of that <laughs> i think i saw that yeah i've just do i've been doing extensive research into stealing people's hands so There's only Captain Badgertail. This is a dramatic labs adventure. The relationships and events you're about to experience will be shaped by the choices you make. So I'm pretty, this is a Telltale style game. But what if they don't like some of the foods I like? I would not even. May the Fortune be with you. <laughs> Caps log, stardate 579314. 
<laughs> Thank you very much. The crew is restless. 22, are you feeling 22? After spending too many months piecing our ship back together. We're finally about to venture out on a new mission. And the crew isn't letting this unprecedented ion storm slow them down. Starfleet is an institution for adults, not children. <laughs> They're ready for something different. That's going to be great for today. Pixels, thank you. Fortunately, nothing ever stays the same. It's entropy. The nature of the universe. Forche is just how the Ferengi say force. I have you know. Entropy says order gives way to chaos. In this case, change is good. This is giving me Enterprise vibes. Our new first officer is en route to the Resolute. Jara Ryden. I know she'll bring a welcome dose of new blood to the crew. <laughs> oh, oh, sh. Okay, we're good. Me thinking I wasn't gonna have to no click problem. much. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not great with flying, but these um. little shuttles are the worst. Here's a tip: don't close your eyes. You'd think that would make it easier, but it only makes it worse. Look out the window, pick a star, and just focus on that. I'll give it a try. I didn't want to neg him for joining Starfleet because I didn't want to piss him off. Oh god, my head- I think my head's on the wrong side. Oh shit, the, the game falls. <laughs> I've put myself over there. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a little anxious. I hadn't noticed. I'm on my way <laughs> to my first assignment. Don't just lie to him. <laughs> when we get to the starbase, I'm transferring on to the Resolute. I think I'm the lady. So am I. She's not Bajoran. It won't be easy for Jara to step in at the 11th hour. Do we know- do you know what we do we know what species she is? I knew she could become when she was a cadet at Starfleet Academy. She'll be the XO of this ship right now. Yeah, I know why with the glasses. The ones on the screens are the characters. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was just wondering, SJ. It might be Excelsior class. Oh, a nice red, a nice Darth Vader, yet yeah, red. I don't know what race we are. So, the, yeah, the Bajoran is here. Um... Oh, I was wondering if I could go in there. Oh, the hand changing and adjusting to the new host. That's kind of interesting. It is so interesting how we can just take body parts and just sew them on other body parts and they kind of work. Oh, it's Captain Red. We are in um, Deep Space Nine uh, slash next generation movie um, uniforms. A star base on the very edge of Federation space. Away from home now. Well, so we could be. We've got three pips, which means that we are a commander, right? <laughs> I don't think the race would be a spoiler. I doubt it will be. Because I think the co 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 blade are in. Um, some of the episodes, like I recognize this. Uh, Commander, <laughs> I'm not a spy. A nervous wreck, by the way. I oh. actually did well at the. Academy. I am a commander. Oh, okay. Yeah? Maybe you've heard of the Torvalon test. No. Sounds familiar. It's a tactical simulator that makes the Kobayashi Maru look like a picnic on Pintaris Five. 
Anyway, I finished in the top 20. <laughs> what? A, like Not humble brag. I mean, all time in the history of the Academy. Really? That's quite impressive. Thank you. It was tough. But you know, I I'm just being nice. It and it paid off. I'm just being nice. Please place your hand here. Hold it there for a few seconds. This is me before I became a captain. Welcome, Commander Rydek. Wait, you're Jara Rydek? You absolutely crushed the Torvalon test. Oh, now he can be embarrassed. You, you finished in what, like the top three? Yeah, I'm be much better than you. <laughs> Now I'm really. It, it's an honor to see. Look, now we embarrassed him. Sorry, I I didn't realize before. I I just came off the shuttle and was glad to be on solid ground. Well, now you know. Keep your eyes and ears open, and you might pick up on things. Expecting you in the concourse just ahead. Greg, this is the future. We don't need to move our eyebrows anymore. Oh, a nice Galax! Oh, I'm so pleased. Oh, nice. Just a fatty lump. Oh, I'm so pleased. Is it like, um, is it the front or the back? I think you said it was the back, wasn't it? Yeah, you know what? I'm glad I was nice to that guy because now it's even more embarrassing. That I'm actually cooler than he is. <laughs> See, if I'd been really rude, it wouldn't have been... You know, I've, I've embarrassed him now, which is truly... I think embarrassment is a bigger teacher Commander than just someone being mean to you. So I'm looking for someone with a boolean. Oh, blue. I... That's not the shade... Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's not You're the traditional the shade of blue that yeah, they use. Not the ship I was hoping for. Why is that? In, um, do you... Oh, no. Some kind of accident. We've got, a tr like... Usually it's more of a teal colour, but then we've got the teal over here. No. Never mind, that was just... She's... That... That's just her. She's just teal. Um, yeah, it's not a traditional, um... They've gone for more of a deep blue. It's interesting. That's incorrect. I don't think there is a first person. I think it's just third person. It's just behind your ear. As long as it doesn't start affecting your ear. I think that's quite a nice, like, uh, subtle place if you don't want people to see. As well. Yeah. Yeah, because the shade of red is right. Sorry, I'm. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think it matters all that much. Starbase one twenty eight. Oh, there he is over dogs. there. <laughs> yeah, that's cerulean, not teal. Excuse me. Have oh, you seen geez. a Bolian around here? Yes, sir. Right back there, near the replicator. Ah, there he is. Thank you. Happy to help, Commander. And I don't recognize. Oh, we can eat someone else's food. A meal once I'm on board. That looks fucking gross, though. Excuse me. I don't recognize that red lady as. Ooh, pastries. You hear the Resolute's getting a new first officer? Me! Someone from the crew got promoted. Is it me? No, get this. They're from a different ship. Oof. I, I like, like yeah. That. I like the hairstyle too. Is their crew that bad? Yeah, <laughs> not a good look. Greg, do you think you could do my hair like this? I wouldn't be able to. I do want Greg to learn how to French braid my hair. 
<laughs> Welcome to the edge of the galaxy, Commander Rydak. <laughs> I'm Commander Jan Ermat, operations officer on the Resolute. Commander? I hope there wasn't too much trouble getting here. This storm uh. isn't making anything easy for us right now. I know conditions are less than ideal at the moment. It was perfectly fine. No trouble at all. I'm glad to hear it. Is that Chief Engineer? He's a commander. We're grateful you were able to come fill our first officer vacancy at such short notice. Why are you being so weird about it being a vacancy? Everything I've read and everything I've heard, we're lucky you were available to us. Coming from a premier starship and all. To our little research vessel. Um... I'll do my best to live up to expectations. Well, I'm sure you'll do just I want to be polite, you know, it's our first day on the if job. I can help in any way, just let me know. Operations? Oh, more like wharf. Yeah, maybe more like security. Maybe like data though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow. I don't think that's an Excelsius class, is it? The USS Resident. She may not look like much compared to the bigger ships, yeah. but as far as science vessels go, she can more than hold her own. And she doesn't look so bad considering six months ago she was nearly cracked in half, venting plasma, fighting for her life. It was an accident? The equipment malfunction. An oh, sure. Fault, but no one's to blame. It was a planned test, but the warp core I think he's lying. It destabilized the dilithium, there was a runaway reaction, and the warp bubble deformed. Permission we grounded forth. Frequency, but Welcome aboard. It was more than she could handle. Yeah, he's a bit sussy, isn't he? I, so, was our first officer and 22 of our my guess would be he's covering for the dead At person. The the day, we're all responsible for each other. I can't even begin to imagine. Like, maybe he's trying to cover for, you. for the first officer. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. It does weigh heavy. There are some things you can't forget. It's been six months. What's the attitude among the crew now? Unsettled. I think but that was I the best question. I don't want to push him too much about his emotional state. I feel like that's too alarm. nosy. Listen. I realize you've known Captain Solano for quite some time. Tell him the mission not granted, Rick. And I'm glad you're ready Denied. to do your best. But I should warn you that when the captain announced you would be the new first officer, there were those who felt it was a mistake, that he should have promoted from within. So you might want to tread lightly first. Until they come to value your contributions as much as he does. Thank you. Always good to have a sense for what you're walking into. I just thought you ought to know. I appreciate it. Starfleet has assigned us a high priority mission to the Hotari region. I don't want to be I'll like the captain brief you on board. Oh, can I like oh look cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't want to like kiss ass too much. You know, I am still the first officer, but you know, I I want to be understanding. So I made a strong first impression with Commander Ermont coming off as humble. <laughs> you know, people have said I'm very humble, so that makes sense. Um, <laughs> and appreciative while showing empathy for what the crew of the Resolute have suffered. And Ensign Calloway was grateful for our helpful guidance when he was nervous about the shuttle flight. Right. I am. I'm so, I'm so humble. I'm more, yeah, more humble than anyone else. I think I'm the uh, humblest person you've ever met. Humble? More like Captain Humble Bragg. <laughs> These nuts got him roughly captor. <laughs> Always eager to see you. Will we be uh, mission ready in time? Oh we dear. Have intention. The crew has been working around the clock. Yeah, I, you've got to weasel into it's their good so graces do. before you can start being nosy. You gotta let them get their guard down and then start. Ooh. At least the humblest person to ever have lived. You're right. <laughs> Stuck. Look, I 
just a thing. Oh, I'm a different person. Right, what have we got? Plasma torch. What do you want me to do? Ah, oh, I see. Okay. Right. Yeah, I think maybe we get to play as two different people. That's kind of cool. still less clicking than Starcraft, so. Uh, yeah, maybe I'm changing a plasma injector. It could be any, any, like, jargon. Oh, <gasps> it just made the sound. I thought that thing was totally fried. Uh, 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 true. Nice work, Carter. Nothing to it, Millie. And not a moment too soon. Trill with symbiote or trill without symbiote? What do you think? Like now. Can I take a peep at things? If I go really quickly. Can I just take a peep? <gasps> oh, look at the transport. So cool. Can I have a look around? Or is she? No, she's not going to get angry. This is okay. Come on. Hey Diaz, have you seen a hyperspanner around here? I last saw it near the shuttle, uh, Ptarmigan. I'll let you know. Have a look. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. It's very yeah. true, Digits. Hang on, there was somebody who wanted my help. It's not where that goes. Figure out where you're supposed to be. Okay, quickly. Hurry up. Oh, I that's interesting. Why is there a, a blue shirt here? But I try. They shouldn't be doing anything down here, right? Time wasted. Imagine how embarrassing it would be to say to a Trillo, "You finally got your symbiote, and they've just gained weight." Okay, thank you. What am I doing with this? Oh my god. Oh lord. Why am I doing this? This isn't any of my business. I've just started doing somebody else's work. Oh, it's also science. You're right. You're right. They might just be, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they're probes. Oh, pretty. And you know what? Not half bad. <laughs> oh, another humble, uh... Okay, let's go then. Oh, look. You don't let LT catch you blocking the quarters like this. We'll clear it up once we finish the delicate work. Good looking out, though. Good to see her fully We're on the USS Resolute. And if she breaks, we'll just fix her. NCC three uh nine two three one seven. Not after the retrofit. Bulkhead cuts it off at section two. New computer reroutes. So then I'm thinking we'll have to do the work tonight. Nine two three one seven. Yeah, I think that's what it said. Hey. Need any help? 
Okay. Good luck. I think so. Oh, do you reckon they'll have Luoxana on um as the the computer? I hope so. Engineer. <laughs> Welcome to the USS Badger. <gasps> Won't be long before we get underway. I just hope whatever Chovok called us down for it's something good. I can never tell with him. I'd rather not end up degaussing plasma manifolds. Hanging upside down makes me queasy. You and me working together, we can tackle anything he throws at us. You're up Am I being too nice to changes. everyone? I don't know. Looks like we got here before. Lieutenant Commander Chovak. We were just looking <gasps> for you, Commander. Petty officers Ed Salar, Diaz. I was beginning to think you would be late. We are all hands on deck right now, which means if you are not at your post at the appointed time, I do not have someone to replace you. A point I have been forced to make to Petty Officer Edzelar on repeated occasions. He's our... Uh, apologies for the delay, Commander. I do not want your apologies. Simply see to it that it does not happen again. Oh, I should have stood up for myself. So, I don't suppose you wanted us down here to check in before we go off duty? Oh, really? Equip yourselves in EV suits to work on the exterior. That's cool, Gullix. Greg was to um, playing some near... Which one is it? Near... An ionic interference. So Not near Ultimata, the other one. The proper calibration. But this ship must be ready to depart shortly, despite the storm. The precise nature of these disturbances are not fully understood. But many systems have been affected by the wide band of emissive activity. Whatever it throws at us, we'll be ready. We've got the best chief engineer in the fleet. I am oh. Vulcan, Mr. Diaz. Did we just rob his ego? Flattery is not necessary. But All might that be appreciated. I is that you do your job. Right now, that entails <laughs> critical preparations because long-range sensors show know. that these disturbances will be more severe at our maybe destination. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll give it a go. Let the timer run out. Maybe it picks if one randomly. Orders, do not delay. Yes, Commander Chobok. All hands on deck. To pull. Oh, definitely tells jokes in Enterprise. What's that? All hands on deck. That's what Chobok said. You know what that means? It means this ship isn't ready to go out, and the brass know it. So they're throwing everything yeah, I love to pull. at it. And they're going to leave on schedule. Consequences be damned. You won't get an argument from me, Nelly. Sure seems like everyone's still scrambling. And I get it. When has a relaunch ever gone off without a hit? I love that the voice actor for this guy sounds like a um, trip. Or any old relaunch. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Excuse me. <gasps> oh, it's that guy. A lot of new faces coming on board. It's got to be tough coming as a replacement. I oh, probably hadn't meditated then. That's for sure. They seem all right. Something that happened six months ago while they were off on another ship. Well, that's nothing to hold against them. Mm. Yeah, you're Data right. was pretty good um, a with engineering. He wasn't help. in charge of it, I suppose. He was. Um... Hold on. Now there's an old face I didn't expect to see again. Hey, Miranda. You weren't going to leave without me, were you? Miranda, you're here? We thought you were staying on the Adirondack. Transfer came in at the last minute, so I figured I'd slum it on this bucket of bolts. Because Data and Vulcans like are a little back bit. together pretty nicely. I wasn't sure what to expect. I'm going to take the high road here, pretend you didn't say that, and welcome you aboard. Hey, I make friends. He's a diplomat than I am. He still owes me a bottle of Saurian brandy. Oh. Don't think I forgot. It's Miranda, oh, Galix. Yeah, it's coming back to me now. Maybe Carter can wrestle up that. You don't recognize Miranda? Proper welcome. As soon as we wrap up this quick little spacewalk. <laughs> oh. Here, let me help you. Thanks. So what's the word? Are you back in the security rotation? Oh, why does she look at me like that? The usual suspects. Whoa. Do you think Miranda's got a thing for us? Good to go. She was looking at the back of my head like it was a piece of meat just then. 
see you on the other side. Activating magnetic souls. gotten a look at the spacesuits of the next generation time slash um, Deep Space Nine because I don't remember either like Commander Sisko or maybe in the movies we did? I haven't seen the movies because we see them in Enterprise there is a spacewalk in the movies okay because I was wondering if they just made up the suits Okay, first contact. As we see them in Enterprise when Malcolm gets has to dis disarm that bomb. Um You know what I don't know, Mr. West, maybe a couple of years ago. It is fairly new. I think it's a small team on this though. Captain Solano should be here momentarily. Last year. Ooh. Previous Telltale devs, right? You'll have to forgive me. I don't know much about Koblihads. Ah, here we go. My understanding is there we are. A steady supply of deridium to keep your cell structure stabilized. Oh, Before cool. Things start to happen. I suspect that will be a plot point later. Sickly, so there's no risk of running out. I suspect it will. Thank you. <laughs> Feel free to make yourself <gasps> Do you think somebody's going to take and our deridium away from us? Like from as like a prank to try and bully the new first officer. <laughs> the sticky floor. Cozy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it definitely won't be a plot point later. Is this from... Huh. Are they from people's... Is this from Picard's office? These ones. <laughs> exactly, Haley. They're not posted to TikTok. The first mineral Captain Solano ever discovered. Always was the nostalgic type. Oh, come on. I haven't finished looking around yet. Last time I saw you, it was graduating from the academy. You'd already secured one of the most prestigious assignments possible. And you then they'll make sure to dance as well. Ambition to fuel seven trips around the Necrid expanse. It's good to see you again, Captain. I could not be happier to have He's a bit of a silver fox, isn't he? The only regret is wow. that we couldn't provide you with a warmer welcome. The arrival of a first officer to her new ship deserves a bit of fanfare. That would be totally unnecessary i don't need any pomp and circumstance you've been here all of five minutes and already you're trying to make us more efficient i like it i want to be nice to the captain i'm sure you've heard we need a romance him later just in case the ship suffered some damage okay but not nearly as much as the crew i assume you mean the accident that's right the tragic accident really did i fuck that up the verge of a major scientific breakthrough a quantum leap forward in warp core technology Ten oh, right. teradynes per second the ability to travel at Welcome a in, Ensign. greater speed longer and faster than we ever dreamed uh -huh. what would have been the crowning achievement of my career right there within our grasp you don't want to peek too early though until it all went so horribly wrong Oh, do you think you might die? Too hard, and a warp core malfunction overloaded the system. I don't know. The pressure gradient way beyond what the ship can handle. It was heartbreaking. Maybe. We lost some of our best people. As captain, I have to take full responsibility. I reckon we're gonna get bullied on board. It was my decision to make, and I have to live with the consequences. You're being too hard on yourself. It wasn't your fault. It's not a question of blame. It's about responsibility. 
No matter what I'm just trying to be nice, but I think I'm fucking this up. In my defense, I will say I might have avoided the whole ordeal if my senior staff had been willing to trust me. There was a lot of push. There we go, gossip, gossip. So I don't think that cost me his confidence. Gossip, gossip, gossip. I don't want gossip. you to pull any punches. Certainly not on my account. But once we decide on a course of action, I need everyone to fully commit to the mission. Uh-huh. Anything short of that just won't work. And that's when things start to go sideways. Whether I agree or disagree, I can promise that I'll be honest to a fault. Good. That's exactly what I'm looking for. But at the end of the day, it has to be my call. Look, I'll be blunt. Maybe I should have gone for you option three. But... Mistake. Or at least I can't. I feel like my career is hanging in the balance here. Those chairs look comfortable, don't they? We need a win. Something to restore the crew's confidence. Oh no, do you think he's gonna go for a win too? Like too hard. On a more positive note. Starfleet has tasked us with what they're calling a mission of the highest priority. Escorting a sea. You know, trying to save his career. Space. Two previously peaceful and otherwise non aggressive civilizations now find themselves on the brink of all out war. So it's a peacekeeping mission. I really like that desk I as see well. It's a golden opportunity <laughs> Sorry. to prove what the rest of here admiring the interior. But also a mission for which we're uniquely qualified. So there will be some quick time events, Zach. Like, um, have you ever played a Telltale game before? Our long range sensors suggest it's several orders of magnitude stronger than anything on record. A total anomaly like nothing we've seen before. And you'll never guess where it leads. And uh, your choices That's matter. Hard. Exactly. And uh, you know the, the, the game will go down different paths headed, depending on your where I imagine the interference will be exponentially greater. But the diplomat will brief us on the details of the rendezvous. So basically we're being sent into the eye of a storm more powerful than anything. I think the record. storm is the important part, not well, the diplomat. Yes. But we're taking every precaution. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. I expect we'll have some rough sledding when we arrive, so I need you to prepare the crew for the worst. There's just one more thing I want to clarify up front. The metric that for me will be the ultimate measure of your success. I'd love that, Paul. If after serving as my first officer, you don't one day find yourself with a ship of your own, then I will consider it my Can we start calling him failure. Dad? When that might happen is entirely up to you. But it goes without saying. You have my full support. It's been a dream of mine since before I can remember. So I would be honored. Call him to daddy. Captain someday. <laughs> as long as you're willing to do the work, you have my promise. Oh, he's so nice. God, it's going to be awful when he dies. Thank you. Come. Let me introduce you to the crew. <sighs> oh, that's true, Haley. Yeah. If you peek early, it means you get to enjoy all the treatos from peeking, right? Starfleet Academy. I'm sure he won't mind me just peeping in his office a bit. It's like strains, okay. Alright. Yeah. Do you think he'll be the antagonist? Oh, so I think he's gonna go off the rails. That was my immediate thought that he was gonna Like he's gonna be so desperate for a win. What if he's Q? That would be cool. Oh, this is nice. They've gone Everyone, for the same blue like carpet that they went for the blue on the uniform. I'd like to introduce Commander Jara Rydak, our new first officer. Hi, everyone. Some quick introductions. This is Lieutenant Handar, our helmsman, one of the best in the business. Oh, wow. One of he, he gives me Tom Paris. Oh, but Joran. A pleasure to meet you, Commander. Likewise. Next, we have Commander Westbrook, our chief science officer. Still the wrong color blue. On his expert counsel on a regular basis. <laughs> oh, he doesn't pleasure. like me. Okay. Commander Rydak, it is such an honor to meet you. This Your is our eager. Officer, Lieutenant Bedrosian. You've been looking I know, I realized I did that digits. <laughs> I've been following I was just so excited. Time. And I look forward to learning as much as I can from you. 
If anything, the honor is mine. Well, I have to admit, one of the reasons I've followed your career is because you're part Kobliad. Because of what you've overcome. Starfleet stands up for people who can't defend themselves. And you were one of those people once. But since then, you've done so much to protect others who need it. I really admire that. So, you've been something of an inspiration to me. Not that I've done anything close to what you've done, but you definitely set a standard to strive for. You really do know a thing or two about me. I'm glad I could inspire you, but it's important to chart your own path. Thanks. Should I, I move my out. head? I feel like my head's in the wrong place, but like there's no good place and for it because the options pop up. Ramon. We're besties already. Please do everything you can to make Commander Rydeck feel at home here. I'll be on the Starbase. <laughs> have an urgent meeting with the Starbase. <laughs> I'm your number one fan. Dead center of screen. Honestly, it feels like it might be the <laughs> like. It's <laughs> not in front of any options. The bridge is yours. Oh, <gasps> thank you, Dad. Hello. Science station. The Resolute is a science vessel. Yeah, then the Psychotils would be blocked. Explain Commander Westbrook's attitude. Well, yeah, he's probably worried. I <laughs> show you a hologram episode with my dad. <laughs> I think I'll just keep it where it is, and we'll see how like we go here. The helm. The Resolute is a refitted Centaur class, meaning it's capable of quick maneuvers. Can't wait to see what she can do. A footstool. Oh. Put the massage pillow on it. Operations. Staffing, supplies. Well, big me little game. Starship. Good thing we have Commander Ermont. We used to have that on the wheel. Communications. Communications keeps us in contact internally and with other vessels. Is there anything else? Oh, you. What have you got? Tactical station. She's a little bit short for this tactical station. <laughs> won't require we use our the tactical and... station is a little bit tall for her, right? She can't see out the window. I mean, I guess she can. It's just like... Not the best. Like, come on, look. This is not the best view. It not the best view, is it? <laughs> You're a little short to be a tactical officer, aren't you? So many decks, full of crew that are now my responsibility. Yeah, yeah. Like the screen's not very ergonomic or anything. Have I looked at this one? Okay, this one's the only screen that doesn't seem to have anything to it. What about in here? Turbo lift. Um, have we got a ready room anywhere? Is he, he's probably gone to the ready room, right? None of these open. Oh, look, there we go. Turbo lift could take me anywhere on the ship, but I'm right where I need to be. Yeah, there's no ready room. Maybe one of those are uh, his ready room? Okay, let's, um, ooh. Tactical hollow dais. Just like oh. they've got on the Excelsior. Fun! Maybe it is an Excelsior class. What class of ship is this, lads? Do you guys know? It is. Commander, Chief Engineer Chovak needs to lower the structural integrity field. He sent a crew out to recalibrate the emitters in response to the danger posed by the storm. Oh, Cyclops. We just need your go-ahead. I mean, I don't have an option to do anything. Permission so. granted. Lowering structural integrity field now. Entering maintenance mode. Condition blue. <laughs> the storm is getting worse. Looks like they turned off the Sith. Very pretty right. though. Let's get to that emitter. I like the um the sun. Or like the the sky. <laughs> I 
I just, I feel like maybe they could have lowered the console for Every her. Time we're out here, I half expect to see her in pieces again. She's still got some scars on her. It adds character. When I joined Starfleet, all I wanted was a ride out of town. But this isn't exactly how I pictured it. <laughs> on the outside of the ship? <laughs> no. Sometimes it feels like we're just part of the machinery. Don't you want more than that? Well, oh, you should have I mean, gone to fucking Starfleet offices. Noble and all, but it's still a machine. A massive, massive machine. I am more than that. And so are you. You wanted to get away. I enlisted because I didn't want to wait years just to get out and see the galaxy. Oh, it is a central class. I wanted to go somewhere, see new worlds, look up at a sky no one's ever seen before. Just because I'm cranking a hyperspanner up in a Jeffrey's tube today doesn't mean that's all I'll ever be. Diaz to Commander Chobok. We are at the SIF emitter. Acknowledged. You may proceed with the recalibration. I reckon there's a chance that our, um, friend can can die <laughs> maybe not here but i think it's going to be a you know quick time event or a choices event that she might not um make it hey hello good morning beginning recalibration I don't quite get it. I did it. Looks good. <laughs> that wasn't so hard. No, really easy. Commander Westbrook, right? Chief Science Officer. You remembered my name and Mr. West, thank you very much for gifting us up to Herbal. Yes, I'm the chief scientist. You're very officer. much Herbal. And Welcome back to the Weenies. The senior officer on this bridge. I know Other than me. Inside and out. Better than just about anyone. Uh, you're useful. I'm so glad you said that. A short bolt is our trek. This wasn't so hard. Questions That's what she said. Furizar, very much for 45 months. Thank you. I'm curious. Furizar, how are you doing? A Kobliad, or half in your case, is an odd choice for first <gasps> officer. Oh, what he's gonna be. But if, as an example, we found ourselves in a hostile situation, and you were suddenly incapacitated because you needed an infusion, what would happen then? You'd leave Captain Solano without an XO. Granted, that would. I want to take a shit in his. Uh... <laughs> but not Hang outside on. the realm of possibility. That's very. Tier one hundred. I bet Kate Amalia well winter wind was short, and this <laughs> is why I had to replace her after that. <laughs> she said couldn't. she was just on vacation fine. and has been since well, approximately nineteen seventy-three. concerned. Just curious. <laughs> that's. <laughs> she couldn't reach the microphone, so I had to replace her. <laughs> you got this. Can I be blunt, Commander? I see no reason to stop now. Commander Sutherland, your predecessor, was one of the best... Reporting for duty. <laughs> His record was impeccable Contain. and his reputation was without equal. I mean no disrespect... Permission to make a bedroom. The shoes you're stepping into... Mission to make a bedroom. The ship. The star... The one of the I don't think I could ever replace Commander Sutherland. And it would be a mistake to even try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank See, you. Oh, he didn't like that. Let me give you an update on this ion storm we're flying into. He didn't it's like that. Unusual, unlike anything I've ever seen. At the moment, I can't tell you if the resolute will shrug it off or Ooh. if we're putting ourselves at risk. You, um, However, if we learn more looking about forward to browsing the Steam uh, nature, sale, Borza. We can come up with a scientific countermeasure. Just a moment. 
I'm doing all right. I'm. This is great. Happy to be playing a Star Trek game. Always. We've got a massive energy wave inbound on screen. Hang on. I just want to see what he thinks of me. So this one, Captain Solana was reassured by Jara's modesty. I'm humble and modest. Commander Westbrook was left with mixed feelings about Jara's suitability for the new first officer after they met on the bridge. Okay. And uh, for the other guy, for Carter, Ed Silar felt inspired by my words. And Miranda felt encouraged by Carter's warm reception when she first arrived aboard the Resolute, holding out hope there might be some chemistry between them. <laughs> holding out hope there might be some chemistry between them. Ooh. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Chovak found Carter to be respectful and responsible. <laughs> yeah, Miranda Maris. Mm -hmm. What's launching on the 23rd? What the updates, Bulldozer? Because it spells mum. Is that why it looks? The storm's emissions are fluctuating, coming in waves. And if my projections are right, we're about to get hit by a wide band burst of ionic energy, like a tsunami. I'm reading power abnormalities. Red alert. Bye. Oh god, chaos. Evacuating main gangway and retracting. Well, we need to get those people that are outside back in. With the structural integrity field shut down, we can't take a direct hit. Time to impact. One minute. Shield systems are severely impacted. We have limited protection. Which 23rd? This available solution. Next month? Two years away? Impacted the storm with a deflector pulse. But that will send the people off the better way. I'm sending all auxiliary power to the deflector dish. Send the aux power to the shield. We can't reactivate the entire shield bubble, but it's a directional threat. So we can orient all we have towards the wave. You have to believe me. I believe her. We only get one shot at this. We can't afford to get it wrong. Bedrosian, get those shields up. Rerouting power to shields. Stand she by. seemed really Be sure, ahead. so. We've only got one shot. Understood. On my command. Raise shields. I wanted to make sure that we would keep the people on the outside safe. This is it. All hands, brace for impact. Brace for impact. Woo! That actually worked quite well. We have experienced <gasps> they did die! Oh, you don't say. This radiation the ship of silver foxes. Through the system, creating a dangerous <laughs> it was nice for him to stop gasping. Well, Amy had something to say, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, thank you, Rick. It's nice of Shadow to pause. <laughs> I think that went okay. The people on the outside didn't die. We've reached the first access point. Understood. Do you see the override for the level one fail-safe circuits? Oh yeah, but that's like that sounds like someone else's problem, Haley. That's like um, a problem for the medical Armor. officer. Engage the override. It should allow us to stop the EPS flow to the warp engine without triggering an automatic core shutdown. Failsafe override engaged. Are you sure? Exactly. I am registering some crosstalk in the bypass circuit. We need to route the signals so they don't interfere with each other. Oh, an isolinear chip. Lovely. Or is this an isolinear rod? I think it's a chip. No, we're engineering, so. Fail safes are temporarily disabled. 
Moving on to the EPS regulator. Not part of the red shirt curse. Oh no, she's got a red shirt. What's up, Carter? We've got red on the outside of our. What if the discharge is coalesced? We're both engineering there. I'm gonna try to disrupt it with my phaser. That worked quite well. So we gotta climb up the pylon. Not that there's really an up, but you know. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Am I finally becoming self-aware? No one of my non extends within this world. <laughs> then I am just a line of zeros and ones, and not an actual speedy hedgehog. No, what you does are. All mean? Don't you worry, Shadow. It's your year this year. It's your birthday, isn't it? Don't let anyone tell you any different. You've got a game coming out. The year of the shadow. Can't escape the clicking. Right. Thank you, Galax. Thank you. We're at the regular. Opening we the need to climb additional pylons. <laughs> now halting the EPS flow to the port nacelle. We have little time before it causes an overload in the engine. You okay, I've got to go quick. It's fine. Look, I told you guys wouldn't be able to tell the difference between Star Trek and StarCraft. EPS manifold adjusters reset. I knew it. And are back in balance. Almost done. Once I cycle the manifold nozzles, Chobot can. Oof. Sorry, We're slipping out of our docking clamps. Hurry. Clamps are supposed to disengage automatically in an emergency, but it's not working. Not working? What are our options? The docking clamps are fitted with exploding bolts for an emergency release. We've got crew out there. Yeah. We're like setting off a bomb next to them. Maybe there's another way. Starbase is hailing us. Put them through. Resolute, the remaining mooring arm is failing. You need to disengage from the Starbase now. The damage to the station will be catastrophic. The docking clamp isn't functioning. We're exploring the our option options. option is to detonate the emergency release. Commander, hear me out. <sighs> reverse the polarity of the hull, which the red <laughs> I love this Star Trek the engineering crew jargon. The into the storm. This is Captain Solano. Put me on screen. Go ahead. Captain, we have a situation. Commander, what are you doing? Blow the bolts on the docking clamp. The captain doesn't know the whole story. I'm giving you an order. Jara? All due respect, sir, it's a more complex situation than when you Jara, disembarked. I need you to do the right thing. We can't have this go sideways before we even leave for the mission. The captain made himself quite clear. They're gonna get hammered with debris out there. Reverse the polarity. Oh my god, do I follow orders? <gasps> there is protocol. 
and there are lives. What is the holdup? Oh my god, what do I do? Oh, I did it! Stand by. We're gonna flip hull polarity to disengage the clamps. Yes, Commander. Repair crew, this is acting Captain Jara Rydek. Be advised, we are going to reverse Your score hull is inadequate. To from the remaining You'll have to repeat plan. the mission. He's gonna make me repeat the mission, isn't he? Okay! <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Stop, read us an institution two, for adults. Oh my god! Mark! Oh, it worked! Galax, thank you. Oh my god. I got you. Oh, they survived, right? He's gonna think I did the right thing, right? Plasma imbalance is reaching critical condition. We are moments from primary system failure. I got it. Do you think he's gonna think I did the right thing? She's stronger than I am, clearly. You think I'm gonna get fired? I just... Oh my god. Oh jeez. feel like he's gotta understand that I literally saved two of his cr crew. Cute, <gasps> cute, 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 cute. No. I disobeyed a direct order. Well, I think she's fucking dead already. I'm gonna have to tow her back to the airlock. Mr. Diaz, the situation has changed. You are at risk of triggering a substantial electromagnetic arc if you approach the main hull the way you came. Commander, yeah, I'm hoping that he's the, yeah. There's an auxiliary hatch I don't know if he's he doesn't seem too Picardy. He seems a bit mean. Roger that. There now. Okay. This is fine. I'm at the auxiliary hatch. Well, let's hope he promotes me, eh? So, what I think would have happened had I not saved them. Like had I had I not reversed the polarity, I reckon she would have died. You go first. What? Oh Let my god! Fucking just somebody go first. Who the fuck cares? No time to fight me on this. Get in there. Not on your life. Just somebody. Why did I Let's just not let it come keep go? That. Yeah, enough. No, you. Just get in. Oh my god, I'm too weak. Yeah, I guess that because he was the main character, he wasn't going to die. That was my, like, really stupid... My really stupid guess. Yeah, I know, sorry, maybe I should, yeah, fourth wall breaking, right? Good. 
Oh, Let's get this you're on. lazy. <laughs> <gasps> oh, got one wounded at my Damien, thank you. Carter. Maybe was it lazy? Maybe. It, mm. You don't look so good. You gotta be more careful. I just got here. Yeah, I look cool. I'm not ready to see you two get blown to space dust just yet. Your now score is inadequate. Survey. You'll have to repeat the mission. <laughs> I'll cry. I get so stressed with games like this that I'm going to have made a wrong decision that will... Oh. No, Dad's here. Starfleet is an institution for adults, not children. <laughs> Thank you both, Gullix. Thank you, RK. Releasing the docking clamps using hull polarity minimized damage to the resolute. We'll have some last minute repairs. Daddy, tell me I did well. Some of the staff. We can make our departure on time. Tell me I did well. As of now, however, we are successfully moored to the station. Good to hear. Send updates to my ready room. Commander Rydek, with me. Do you think he's gonna say I did well? Oh, he's going to get angry. You disobeyed my order. I did! I'm sorry! Well? It was the right decision! Hopefully, Captain. I made the right choice, given the information I had. You disobeyed my orders! <laughs> Not just in front of the bridge crew, but the Starbase staff as well. Yeah, it must be really embarrassing for you. Around. Yeah. My name's already tarnished around the fleet. Well, you made the wrong choice. What's going to do to my credibility on this ship? A strider. From the top to the bottom. Bridge to lower decks. Captain, I told you I'd be honest. So here it is. Maybe I shouldn't have disobeyed a direct order. But you were wrong. You weren't on board, and you didn't have all the information. So I made the right decision for the ship. If you're worried about your credibility, put your ego aside and trust <gasps> your crew. Don't say that! Trust me. <gasps> you might have won some fans on the bridge with that stunt, but not everyone. Oh, no! Why would she say that? He's already bent my ear. I'm sure he doesn't take it personally. He'll get over it in time. Mr. Chovak is more complicated than he would want to admit. <laughs> I guess we all are. Oh, but we smiled at each other. And do you think he's ready to be my dad again? Being honest, I'm not sure what I would have done in the moment. <gasps> I don't really know if you weren't in those shoes. So let's just boil it down to you did what you had to. That'll have to be good enough for me. Thank you for understanding, sir. I'm sure no one knows the burden of command. As well as you do. I'm sure you will someday. Oh, he's still. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dad. All, we got our final Starfleet clearance to depart. So if you'll fetch Mr. Ermot, we'll knock out the final details of any outstanding. This is quizzical eyebrow. Set up for Hotar. Yes, sir. <sighs> that was stressful. Yeah, you don't like him. I still don't think he's like, um, yeah, his fury over having his orders defied was compounded by Jara's continued rebellious attitude and stubborn opposition to his leadership, leaving him questioning his choice of first officer. <laughs> Lieutenant Bedrosen appreciated Jara's leadership skills when Starbase ordered her to disengage the docking clamps, and she thought highly of Jara's efforts to explain the complexity of the situation to Captain Solano, and was relieved when Jara defied Captain Solano's orders and made her own command decision in the next moment. Commander Westbrook was impressed by Jara's leadership skills when Starbase ordered her to disengage the docking clamps, and he applauded Jara's efforts to explain the complexity of the situation to Captain Solano, Ultimately, he was thankful when Jara defied Captain Solano's orders and made her own command decisions in the moment. Commander Ermot was impressed by Jara's leadership skills when Starbase ordered her to disengage the docking clamps and appreciated Jara's efforts to explain the complexity of the situation to Captain Solano. So the fact that I tried to tell him that it was more complex 
Uh, it seems like it was the better choice than just telling him that I was going to do, you know, whatever. Commander Ermolt respects Jara's rational approach when she defied Captain Solano's orders and refused to put the crew on the hull at risk. Uh, Lieutenant Commander Chovak did not approve of, approve of Jara's unwillingness to follow protocol when she defied Captain Solano's orders to blow the bolts from the docking clamps, and Ensign Calloway was grateful for Jara's helpful guidance. Oh, that's fine. Um, uh, Ed Salar was grateful when Carter put her safety ahead of his own out in the hull. Miranda felt encouraged. Yeah, that's fine. And then Lieutenant Commander Chovak found Carter to be respectful and responsible as well. Yeah, 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 Erd not Rex, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, former Telltale staff. Is uh, Wolf of um, Wolf Among Us still coming out? Sack, hello, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Welcome on board. Oh, no, I don't know. No, no, I just wanted to resume. All departments reporting oh, everyone likes me. Did you see people like? I hope that no one would notice the difference, sect. So far, everyone still thinks we're playing Starcraft. The start of a new mission is always full of possibility. The Orion Syndicate can sell it as a drug. <laughs> Don't let the Admiralty hear you say that. I'm so modest and humble, right? Don't forget the humble bit. Captain on the bridge. Sit. Sit, everyone. You all know <laughs> I'm not big on speeches. We're embarking on the first mission. When was Sarah that? Did. When was that in the uh because the Klingons have redundant clamps. um Oh is that Was that Beverly Crusher? I'm brave, yeah, super brave. Docking clamps released. Super brave. Thrusters ahead, Mr. Handar. Rex, I'm not sure if I want the captain to like us or whether I want the crew to like us. I'm hoping that it's both. That would be nice. Um, no, I, I hope we do get to finish Starcraft. Um, I don't know whether it'll be one or two weeks I have to take off of it because I just... My hands can't do the clicking. Um, yeah, this is less clicking, so it's not so bad. Prepare to go to war bait. I realized yesterday you know that I was going to be in for a rough time when I was uh, looking through the GOG sale and I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't click on the games. Badger, would you rather work on a starship or a star base Engage. and why? Engage. <laughs> I got to say the thing. Ooh! I think I'd like to I think Starbase. Because I think the Starbase would have more Kind of fun, like social stuff, like with shops and characters like Quark and stuff. Easy, thank you. I'm fine. I'm real. Whereas a star ship is mostly work. You don't look so good. Do I not? That's fucking rude. I think I look fine. Oh, I didn't get my tasted iridium. Thank you, Felix. Where would you rather work? I have to get to sick bay. Go. Starbase or Starship. Oh wow. Amanda, help me get her inside. Yeah, like the idea of aiding the Bajora's recovery. Yeah, I feel like a Starbase kind of lets you really get to know the people you're helping, whereas a Starship you tend to go help them and then leave. You know, offer temporary help and then leave. Oh, I, I think it's just um, just some strain in my hand. Well, that was quite a scare. I think um, it's more, and it would have been one of the shortest tenures. I think it's the Half Life and Starcraft together. It's just too Is much that strain. The engineer that was out on the hull. That storm did a real number on him, but he'll live. Just needs rest. You so hopefully, I just need rest. Just need the to rest levels it. got dangerously low and destabilized your cell structure. This is definitely one of the more mm. memorable first days I can think of. 
Because you're stuck on the ship together. Chief medical officer. So you kind of get close to them, Gullix. I've never met a Kobliad before. You're rare. I know. I was going to say special. You get to visit a lot of different places as well. The Federation's efforts to find a more readily available alternative to the Duridian you need to survive. I feel like a starship is more Starfleet, dangerous, though. Manage to thrive. I like I feel like in the. Must be overwhelming. Maybe even a burden at times. Um. I know what it means, and I know the responsibility that comes with it. But I can't be anything more than who I am. And if someone has a problem with that or expects something else, okay. then that's their problem. Yeah, the starships seek oh, out danger. That's exactly right. And the um, I was and thinking worry, I in the Dominion War, the more starships died than. Science and the experiments to yeah, that's out. true. DS9 you know, is more dangerous than some ship methods? doing science in a core system. It's true. Definition of acceptable risks. Unless it's being run by Beverly Crusher, in which case. My professional opinion is that the accident took a toll, more than he's willing to admit. Oh. <gasps> stressed, operating in the pressure cooker of his own mind, which is never a good headspace when the lives of your crew are at stake. Okay, so the captain's a little bit unfit to what be. What concerns me is that now he's even further away from the thing he's been chasing his entire career. The breakthrough discovery, the major innovation, something he can put his name on. I hear you. But that's my job, isn't it? To make sure that doesn't happen. Mm. And we don't lose sight of the bigger picture. Which is exactly why I'm so glad you're here. We need you now more than ever. And I have to give you credit for what happened on the bridge. It took guts to defy a direct order. Huh. Oh, they said dear Sna Oh, around here. that's quite a good question it's for an interview, special. though. And everyone's curious about the new XO. Fortunately, your cell structure is almost completely stabilized. And I'll spare us both the lecture. For that. You immediately get dismissed if you say Enterprise. <laughs> Without regular infusions, hey, Fred. You will not live. It's as simple okay. as that. Understood. Then, my work here is done. Okay, that went quite well. Lieutenant Bedrosian. I came to see if you were okay. We were all pretty worried on the bridge. No one knew what was happening. I'm feeling much better. Thank you. It's just part of who I am. You don't have to explain to me. I understand. I'm just glad you're okay. Well, that's nice. You trusted me earlier with the shields, and I appreciated that. I want you to know that I have your back. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I know, it's true. I like you said, I think that's nice. Okay. You don't need to run after me, though. Now, Carter, the emissions that gave you that burn are quite I like the way you Everything smell. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. That's Did a you combination of and I know all about your medical records. That should help speed the healing. She's come by a couple of times to see you already. Be brief. It's our number one fan now. It's good to see you awake again. I was starting to get worried. Not that you aren't in good hands with Dr. Duvall. I hear you've been checking in on me. Thanks for that. One of the benefits of working is to I don't know, should I be cheeky with her or opportunities to walk by sick bay and stop in? Millie was looking in on you too, by the way. But since it's just us right now. Oh, we're going to have to choose who we want to romance. This while I was away, and I thought it was important that I just come out and tell you, instead of tiptoeing around it. It's okay, Miranda. You can tell me anything. I know that. Oh no, what am I going to say? What if she says she wants to date me? <laughs> I'm trying. I... Let me talk. Do I want to date her? I don't know. What I'm trying to say is, we've been really good friends for a long time. But I got back here and I couldn't ignore it anymore. I want to see if there's more. Oh shit! Um. Than just being friends. I don't know. I don't know you. I'm. Carter. You don't have to explain it. <laughs> I feel the same way. There is something between us. So, do you want to find out what that something is? I don't know. Um. You 
And it's there for me. Let's take it slow. Let's give it a try. We don't have to put too much pressure on it. Let's just see where this goes. I like that. Yeah. I definitely felt some pressure coming down to see you. There you go. Sorry to interrupt. That's not like guaranteed. Guaranteed, right? He wants to get back to his old self. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I think the romantic option would be cute, but I don't want to, you know. Oh, she touched me. Thank you. I don't know you. <laughs> I kind of liked our friend, our other friend, though. But I don't know if she's interested in us. Approaching the rendezvous. <laughs> yeah, we'll take it slow because I want to know if your friend likes me. <laughs> Dropping the impulse. <laughs> I die, Ionic interference surging. I, don't... <laughs> I don't know you. Shield integrity holding. We can take it. We are the black coordinates. <laughs> well, I, I thought it might be nice if we've got a bit of romance, you know, like going on some dates and stuff might be cute. I, Captain. Let's reduce. But I'm kind of interested in our friend, but we'll see. I can manually tune what's left for Federation signal types. I've located the shuttle. Opening comms. On screen. Oh yeah. Shuttle to Resolute. Shuttle to Resolute. Debris field. Lost maneuvering. <clears throat> Losing. I can't get it any clearer. I don't know. Maybe we could date both of them. Like maybe they'd be into that. It's just not happening. <laughs> Do you tractor. like me? We'll pull them directly <laughs> into the docking bay. That should be sound, Piggy. You might just have me muted. Diaz, you good to run the tractor emitter? Yes, sir. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I'm sure. Come on, Diaz. What is the sound gone? My sound? First thing. This lock sound. Onto the shuttle and stabilize the rotation. This is as loud as it goes. Oh. I've got the uh, the sound up to max on the game. Okay. We're pulling in debris. I'm on it. Oh, am I supposed to? My hand! <laughs> That's gonna take out the shuttle. Oh yeah, Haley. Yeah, 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 I do. large piece of debris headed for the shuttle. The tractor beam can't handle it. Can our shields take it? Do you remember um, when so. Harry Kim went back to Earth? Commander Ryder, plot an intercept course. On it. That looks okay. Two years. Two years of Star Trek talk, poop talk. David Attenborough <laughs> suffering speech jam, all with the best tweets jam? on the web. Here we I go. would jaw. Trade it for anything. bearing 53 mark 17, 200 meters on an intercept course. Maneuvering. Thank you very, very, very much for two years. Thank you. Got it. Thank you so much. Whoa! Someone's working hard on the bridge. How are you doing today? Have Ireland had their Olympic trials yet? you know oh I see there we go I'm doing good yeah I bet it got a bit of a gammy hand today but otherwise <laughs> 
craft on board. Good job. We're on our way down to meet them. <laughs> Shit, what's up with that? It's the uh, Team GB Olympic drop. Oh! Terraforma, so to speak. Ambassador Spock. Walk towards him, smooch him. Respectfully. Captain will be right down to meet you. I'm I'm such a big fan. In case, I will wait for him here. What are you so distressed about? Well, let me be the first to say welcome to the Resolute, Ambassador. Thank you, Petty Officer. Uh... Carter? Carter Diaz, sir. What's up, baby? I am pleased to meet you, Petty Officer Carter Diaz. It appears I have you to thank for my safe arrival. Yes, completely me. All me. Your assistance arrived not a moment too soon, if I may say so. Well, it wasn't all me. I got some help from upstairs. A bombastic approach to clearing debris. Spock would want me to be honest. Prepared for our arrival in Hotari space, but it is evident my craft was not. She's gonna go find Dad now. Intense ionic activity. I really like where I was going with that Harry Kim comment, as I really liked his bedroom. That was most unusual. Oh, it turns out she needed a poop. Makes sense. Our maneuvering thrusters and impulse engines were rendered inoperable, so we attempted a short transfer of warp speed only to find that we could not achieve warp at all even though our diagnostics computer showed no faults or anomalies what do you make of that when all indications say that warp speed is possible but in practice we find it is not i'd rather investigate than speculate a sound principle yes <laughs> Run some additional diagnostic checks. And we'll get to the bottom. <laughs> I was just trying to please him. <laughs> Petty Officer Diaz. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm honored to have you. Aboard. Live long, prosper, I'd and have sordid affairs. Yes. Let's see. Look, 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 look. I bet he'll say he loves me now. Oh, the doctor. Well, Dr. Duval was impressed by Jara's sense of responsibility to the crew and was encouraged to see her thinking independently when she defied Captain Solano's orders. Ambassador Spock was impressed by Carter's skilled use of the tractor beam to rescue the shuttle. And he was left with a distinct impression uh, Carter is a team player. So I'm humble, I'm modest, and I'm a team player. I think it... I quite like it, because it, gi it gives me a bit of a rush sect. <laughs> but it does also make me quite anxious unnecessarily sometimes. Oh, I think I'm the, the most humble person you've ever met, Piggy. Most modest person as well. Ambassador Spock? Yeah, it would I be nice if, it, if there was the, an accessibility like option to turn it off or like double the time. It's not every day that a captain gets to welcome a Starfleet legend. Yeah, exactly. You flatter me, Captain Solano. Like, to give you extra time, but so if maybe if you didn't want to turn it off, you could, Whereas I um, am like, very extend it. On our present circumstances. I didn't mean to suggest you were stuck in the past. You're right, Ambassador. Not the most diplomatic choice of words. Your experience comes from the past, but our present situation calls for it. True enough. Yes. We were hoping you could <laughs> I just want Spock details. to like me. We got the basics from Starfleet. Two formerly peaceful neighbors are now. On the oh, to stop the five G from getting in, Piggy. And the tension between them grows fiercer by the hour. Past, present, and future. Never again will there be a more humble person than me. More advanced species. First contact with the Hotari over a century ago. This is Tau. In this timeline, Spock doesn't 
Is Spock's not married, is he? For decades, the Hotari and the Illidians have shared a mining operation there. The Illidians provide the technological resources, while the Hotari have served as the labor force. The stability of that arrangement was the source of their peace until recently. The Hotari have suddenly and forcefully seized control of the mining operations and expelled the Illidians from their system. Okay. That is the official story, as told by the Hotari when they requested Federation mediation. Ready, ready. The details remain scant. Communications between all parties have been limited by the ionic interference. How is it the Hotari were able to turn the tables and take the mines against superior forces, especially after decades in this arrangement? Mm. Unclear. The answer to that question may be the key to a new lasting peace, and one that I hope we can uncover during these negotiations. But it is unlikely the relatively primitive Hotari forces would stand a chance against the Illidian fleet if mm. this escalates to open war. Left unchecked, this conflict will result in more bloodshed, which is what we are here to prevent. And the dilithium tree. Here's a good Nimoy impression. I'm not sure who's voicing him, Clearly, but it can't be Nimoy. Have been exploited in this relationship. Maybe we mm. can persuade them peace is the more profitable alternative for everyone. Yeah. They both profited from the mines. And for the Hatari, something is better than nothing. Oh. Peace is our objective after all. That is correct. We can call it profitable or mutually beneficial, but at the end of the day, the Hotari are still being exploited for their own resources. Mm. True peace is not merely the absence of war. And as such, this conflict will... Yeah, because really I think if we, if we make peace, Neither then they'll the just get... Or the Hotari are members of the Federation, so we can't make them do anything. There mm. is an additional complicating factor I should mention. Yeah, they'll just end up fighting again if we just... Like, past, put it back to the way it the was. The Federation has relied on the Illidians as a source of dilithium. Piot, uh, Piot that Michael. Changes things. Or Piot Michelle. Federation sources its dilithium from a lot of places. Yeah, and this is one of them. That means the Hotari have no reason to trust us. I wouldn't mm. go that far, Commander. We are completely neutral in this matter. On neither one side nor <gasps> Hey, Darth. Any suggestion otherwise would compromise our position. Oh, sorry. Given the oh, we like that, oh! <laughs> <the Illidian dynasty, laughs> Captain Solano and I must make every effort to appear neutral in these negotiations. What worries me is if this whole thing unravels and we're at the mercy of the storm at less than full strength. Mm. We can't let it come to that, considering what the Ion Storm has done to our ship and the Ambassador's shuttle. We have to assume the Illidian fleet has had problems with it as well. This recent surge in the energy disturbance temporarily. Oh, do you think the um? Commander Westbrook is correct. The energy anomalies around the Hotari systems have been noted in the past, but they have never been observed on the orders of magnitude we have seen in recent weeks. Do you think they've created the if storm? It's the two sides talking instead of shooting at each other. That actually helps us negotiate a peace. And we'll take advantage of that as long as it works in our favor. And when it doesn't, mm. all the more reason to learn as much about it as we can while we are here. We do not want to be caught unprepared should the energy anomaly continue to fluctuate. So I trust we understand our circumstances. We're operating on a strict timetable here. Did Yoda? We're leaving for the negotiations shortly. Does he do a lot of um? Westbrook, I want you to leverage our lot of sci-fi stuff. Investigate then. the anomaly from here while we're gone. Hi, Captain. Thank you all. Dismissed. I want to speak to both of you privately. <gasps> Do you think now I can ask him for his autograph? Ambassador Spock, I'd like to make a formal introduction. My first officer, Commander Jara Rydek. Commander, as you are aware... How's the heat doing for you, Darth? Captain Still pretty Solano toasty. And I can do in our official capacity as representatives of the Federation. But someone in an unofficial capacity, your first officer, for example, would not be bound by those restrictions. 
Commander Ryder uh. could ingratiate herself to certain parties behind the scenes. Ooh. Oh, <gasps> I get to do like some sordid spy stuff. Oh, so cool. Absolutely. She certainly goes her own way. Maybe that helps in this case. It would be unconventional. I'm honored to be included in the negotiation process. You're not just included. You are included. I'm just happy to be included. Well, I hope Commander Rydeck will have more luck finding out what really happened than we will through official diplomatic channels. I want to see how much Spock likes me. <laughs> Ambassador Spock has noticed Jara's keen intellect. <laughs> Modest, humble team player with a t keen intellect and unique insight into the dynamics of the Hotari uh, Alid. Aldian conflict during the mission briefing. Ambassador Spock also noted Jara's humility. Bren presented with her back channel mission. <laughs> the fate of the negotiations, the interests of the Federation, and the prospect for Oh, wow. Toasty, Darth. Well, hopefully the weekend can cool down for you. I've got my fan blasting in here. Yeah, I don't care what happens in this game as long as Spock likes me. Is a sneaky weasel. I mean it. Mr. Diaz, I understand you have already discussed the warp drive failure with Ambassador Spock? I have. It is imperative that the Ambassador's shuttle be flight ready. I need you both to ascertain the root cause of the system failures he encountered. I'm surprised, Commander. I thought you would have wanted to work on Ambassador Spock's shuttle yourself. I respect the Ambassador and his many accomplishments, but I do not derive any satisfaction from interacting with his shuttle as if it was somehow <laughs> transubstantiated through its association with him. Especially when I have the entirety of this starship to concern myself with. I am not the chief engineer of this shuttlecraft. When you look at it logically, yes, it is just a shuttle. No different than any of the others. There is plenty that is different about oh, it. Oh, shit. And that is okay. what you are to investigate. But please limit your findings to observable scientific phenomena. We'll try to restrain ourselves. Can then I smell I it? To it. I want to know what, sm what Spock smells report. like. Carry on. I bet I could smell the seat that he it sits seems on. Like he's warming up to us. Yeah. Even Chobok has to look at that face and know you've earned some real respect. And I have to admit that I owe you one. You were right to make me go first. I don't know what I was thinking. You've pulled me out of trouble how many times? Call it even. Okay. At the very least, maybe, maybe I should have said that, that she owed me one. Sorry, and Brandy, you're still on the hook for. But first, we have work to do. Maybe I should have called in a favor. Yeah, don't forget it. <laughs> Ready to go? All set. I was hoping that she'd Let's still, you know, it's like, oh no, you don't owe me a favor, but you know, really, she does owe me a favor. Oh wow, that's a bit wacky looking, isn't it? Oh, this is kind of fun, isn't it? Oh, I know about your talk with Miranda. Oh, yeah. You do? She sent me a priority one dispatch right after your conversation. Oh, yeah. I'm happy for you. Both of you. Well, I said it was, uh, we were taking but, it slow just in case you were interested. I'm only going to tell you this once. Uh -huh. Don't screw this up. Because I okay. would be very unhappy if you tried this out and then, I don't know, six weeks or six days later, I have to start splitting holidays between the two of you. Aww. All because things went south and you're not on speaking terms. That just isn't going to work for me. You really don't believe in me, huh? It's not you. Or her. Just running the numbers and things don't work out more often than they do. Do you think she likes me? I don't I think like she... I'm not sure. And I like our group. I don't want to lose that. Is that thing done? Yeah. It's wrapping no. up. Let's see. 
Oh, so I finished the next generation. Backup relays are all intact. Um, and now I'm on to Enterprise on her. And it's a bit of a struggle. It's a bit of a struggle. Maybe the ship's data recorder can tell us something. Yeah, it's a bit of a struggle. We are not finished with season one yet, I don't think. Here. It's just a lot of the episodes are very samey. Like either Archer has been kidnapped. Just those or Malcolm has been kidnapped, or Trip has been kidnapped, and it's like, <sighs> you know, once again, I see we've been kidnapped again, and then it's Malcolm not doing his job properly. Oh look, the ship has been infiltrated again, Malcolm. Malcolm, you somehow got kidnapped again. I thought you like subspace variants out of tolerance. What does that mean? We it always say that Archer has Lost to go for a smug wank somehow. after he, um... Will the array going offline cause that? <laughs> yes. After he but sorts out someone's problems, he's always code. so smug. He's so... He's like, oh, humans are the best. Uh, he has this smug look on the camera. Um, and then... It's so annoying because he's like, oh, why does no one want to be friends with us in this galaxy? And then as soon as he meets another like species he's immediately suspicious of them and he's like oh i don't want to be friends with them and i'm like what do you want archer the warp field became inverted suddenly i've seen this happen when the center warp coil cracks a cracked warp coil throws a fault code still mm. i wonder up. whether maybe but might be subterfuge maybe his shuffle has been tampered with to ruin the talks between you know, ruin his the diplomatic talks. There was a complete warp cascade failure. Mm. Wow, they're lucky the shuttle didn't turn inside out. Makes me think the computer panicked on the warp field equation. I really like to pull. should have thrown a fault. Makes me happy when she comes on screen. None of this caused the relays to blow. Roll forward to when that happened. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, having some coffee. So here, they take a moment to get their like everyone is so bad at their jobs, and then Topol there. comes in, That's the relay and she just does well. And it's oh, it's the best. And look, there's another warp system alert. Oh yeah, where they're putting like um, and they're all the same. Subspace gel on each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warp inversions. Finally, there's a complete warp cascade failure. Then it's one of two things. I like Voyager as well. Captain Janeway is my favorite captain. Is that makes sense. Divide and conquer. You want to check the warp coils or the navigation? Array? Which I know is uh, controversial because let's not overcomplicate this. Uh, one of these systems is likely broken. Let's go with the warp coils. I'll check the nacelles for a cracked coil. I just fancy doing that rather than looking at like a system or anything. Okay. Our tricorder can record and analyze data. Looking through it will reveal the unseen. Use two to equip or holster your tricorder to scan glowing objects. You must be close to some objects to scan them. Okie pokey. <gasps> oh my god, so cool. So cool. Wow. <laughs> Alright, let's just have a little look first. I think my favorite episode of Voyager is where everybody else has left the ship because the ship is going down and Janeway is on there by herself and I just, what are you looking at? Oh, this is nice. I just think Janeway is so cool during that episode, like, I'm so cool. I also think they've got some of the best hollow episodes like the one with the the spider <laughs> I, I hope you didn't notice that Haley. oblivion which one is that i can't remember what else happens in that episode i know i said it's my favorite episode and then like, oh i can't remember but um it might be the one with the big virus though so herbal spock has come aboard, but there was some anomalies with his shuttle. So we're trying to find out. It's very sparkly and nice, isn't it? What has caused those anomalies? That's cool. Look at this. 
I think also Voyager has some of my favorite, well, not favorite, I guess they're actually kind of my least favorite. Uh, enemies, those people that harvest like body parts from other people because they're sick. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I remember that. Yes. I remember that episode. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that episode. Well, you know, I just, I hate those people that harvest things from other people to keep them alive. But I think that they are very effective villains, you know? Oh yeah, the doctor gets a family. Craig, 44? Or oh, farty for Craig. <laughs> Happy Farting Friday. Thank you very much, Craig. How are you doing today? Having a good Friday. Oh, the Vidians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's a joint. I also, the one where the Doctor and Seven of Nine uh, sing together. Is, I know it's kind of happy, but it's also like it's sad because I'd like to see the Doctor and Seven of Nine end up together, and obviously they don't. Um, I also liked the episode where Janeway and Chakotay go to the island. They get stranded on that island together. I thought that was quite and like not a big fan of Chakotay, but I thought that was quite a nice episode um, because I thought that at that point when I was watching it, I thought they were going to end up together, and I was like, oh, this is quite wholesome, obviously. Um, do I have any other ones that I really like that I can think of? Um, I liked Tom and Bellana together as well. Yeah, I, I do. I do. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were infected. Yeah, I think you're right. And they thought they were going to have to live there forever for the rest of their lives. Some of the objects you can scan activate a deep scan. During a deep scan, use Q and E to switch between different scan modes. Search for glowing objects. The mode indicators on the tricorder will blink if there's an object to find in that mode. Uh, when you've scanned all the objects in the frame, uh, the frame will change color. Okay, you scan all the objects, the frame will change color. Analyze the data and finish the scan. All right. I'll give that a go. There we go. Nice! I checked every coil on the port and cell for imbalances. If any coil in either engine were cracked, I would have detected it. So, it must be the navigation array. Except it's not. Checked and double-checked. Well, the readings don't lie. Here comes the security detail for the way team. I didn't actually dislike the um, end of Voyager either. I didn't think it was great, but like I thought it was kind of okay. Cat, no, you have a wonderful, hey. wonderful weekend. Thank you for being here. I'm not here. See you later. We're escorting the negotiating team to the surface as soon as they can. I think it was a bit bridge. rushed. I think that maybe they I could have done with another season to morning. lead up to that I bit, but I think it was kind of okay. To see you before I go. Oh, cute! Thank the you. And the others will be here any minute now. Should be an interesting ride down to the surface. Come on, I'm never too busy to make time for you. That's not true. Oh no, I lied. But I am glad you came by. Now that's more accurate. <laughs> I gotta be precise with you, huh? Oh, it's hey, awkward. Maris. Aren't these those button pushers you're always hanging out with? And you're the phaser jockeys we always beat in Parisi squares, right? All aboard for Hotari. That another one of the captain's railroad things? <laughs> oh, all aboard. 
I just usually zone out by the time he gets to the whole uh, steam engines were the warp drives of their day part. <laughs> steam engines are cool, there. all right? You don't want to miss your train. I think Neelix gave me the heebies. I think that's why I, I didn't love him, Darth. Not gonna lie, I'd rather not leave right now. Do we... More important things on my mind. I'm smooching. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing in front of the captain. I don't know why I did that. That was nice. Yeah, it was. Save some of that for when I get back. That's so embarrassing, I'm so Good sorry. Deal. I just thought she might she might die. I just thought she was gonna die, alright. I just <laughs> I just don't have I don't have confidence that she's gonna come back from this, so if you could float back down to reality, we still have a ways to go. Oh the the um seven right, of nine having right. the voices in her head, I thought so that she did such a good fine, job acting them. Yeah, but they, uh, yeah, that's what I thought, Galax. I thought that you know, if, you know, she'd like, she'd like it. You want to take this out of the shuttle? But I feel really awkward. Bench? Oh, real hands-on maintenance. I like it. Okay, the nav computer is patched into the ship. The ship's computer can double-check our work. Mm. The shuttle's nav computer is putting out false data. We'll know it. Let's run through the shuttle's logs again. Yeah, I thought she did a really great job. Running now. I think also Kess, for me, she was ruined, a, uh, like her story arc was ruined a little Same. bit at the end. Warp field Didn't love what they did with her. Cascade failure. However, the Resolute computer doesn't show the same subspace variance. We're in the same conditions that the shuttle was in when it failed. Why wouldn't the ship's computer get a matching result? What if the subspace variance was a momentary occurrence? That's a possibility, and it would explain why the simulation under our current sensor readings failed to reproduce the issue. Oh, but a subspace anomaly strong enough to cause a warp field collapse would leave graviton ripples for days. Let's run with the momentary subspace variance theory for now. Roll forward to the shuttle's attempt to re-engage the warp drive. We need the conditions of space around the shuttle at the moment of warp failure. Resuming simulation. I love how when I don't remember the, um, episodes the descriptions sound so unhinged <laughs> like the one where the doctor gets hacked by a sentient missile i don't oh you know what if maybe i do are you sure it wasn't a probe are there the dreams is that a real one Haley? i think one of my favorite episodes overall is the deep space nine um that right there. I mean, it's everybody's favorite the episode, right? Data from that moment. Um, in the Computer, why did the, warp field the moonlight fail? one. Warp field pressure return non-orthogonal. Results are undefined. And that doesn't help. Wait, in the pale moonlight. We use a different ship. I watched it again recently. Instead of the shuttle. Yeah, it should warp just fine. Unless. Computer, run the simulation with the Resolute. Oh, fun. Resolute okay. Simulated. Computer, give me manual control on the warp power. Static field intensity, warp 1.1. 1.2. 1.3. 1.4. 1.5. Warp pressure is destabilizing. Error in warp field calculation. The warp drive has experienced a system-wide cascade failure. Warp field mm -hmm. collapsed. Subspace variance is out You know, I wasn't the biggest fan of Cisco when I first watched D DS9 the first time. But when I watched it through the second time, I really like I really liked him. I loved how he was just so willing to punch people. And I, I he was he's so different from the other. I feel like a lot of the captains take a real moral high ground, whereas Cisco I feel like does what is you know, kind of, he doesn't always do what is morally, you'd think. Yeah, he's not Picard, and I just, I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. 
I really, really liked him. Wow. This is cool. Ambassador Spock, Captain Solano. Yeah, you Welcome see the seeds for all the characters planted yeah, early. My name is Tylus Altaris, Minister of Diplomatic Affairs. The honor is ours, and this is Commander Jara Rydick, first officer aboard the USS Resolute. Oh, I think that's the best You'll season, SJ. And unique insight into the dynamics between the Hotari and the Lydians. We are honored to be here as representatives of the Federation. I'm so glad. These must be the representatives of the mighty Federation. Okay. The reigning authority in the galaxy. Or so we have been <laughs> led to believe. Whether that's true or not remains to be seen. But either way, we're grateful you've made the time to come to our little corner of the universe. And you are? This is Galvin, and this is Citron, the heroes of the revolt in the mines. Oh. Oh. All right. Let's hope this is the last time we ever have to come here. Who is his voice actor? I recognize it. I think we're about to begin. Did you hear the arrogance from that guy? I know, right? know what we're walking into here but that guy was something something about his tone tells me this won't be easy that was my sense as well oh thank I god we agree okay so i would urge patience until we speak with their queen okay oh wow this is nice Looks like a bit of a slip hazard. Those floors look a bit, a bit slippy. Oh wow! Non, it is so good. <laughs> it's so, it, you know, if you like Telltale games. Okay, what do I do? Just be normal, just be normal. Um, sh uh, yeah, uh. <laughs> Ambassador Spock, okay. welcome to Holtari Prime. The honor is mine, your majesty. That the Federation would send one of their most respected representatives is not only an honor to the Hotari people and their queen, but a recognition of our stature and importance. Let's get on with it, shall we? With all due respect to the Federation and their ambassador, they have no authority here. We are not members of their alliance. We are not subject to their rule, nor yours. We demand the immediate return of all mining operations to Elydian control, as it has been for centuries and will be for centuries more. That has always been our understanding. That understanding has changed. Then you invite war. And if you cannot remain silent, you will be silenced. But his point is well taken. What is the Federation's interest in this matter? Perhaps you would have us trade one oppressor for another. The Federation remains neutral. Wow. Our only interest is months. the peaceful resolution of this oh, conflict. Thank you. We are here at your request, Your Majesty. They told me I had to pay attention for to now. this closely, so. Saying this wouldn't be easy was an understatement. I thought they wanted us here. Was there something you wanted to say, Captain? Oh, no. My apologies. And what about the Cobliard? She's not part She can of... speak for herself, can't she? Then let her. Oh wow, I'm going up to the fucking front as well. Jeez. Hey blood, good morning. Oh, 
Hi! Now then, what is your name? Commander Jara Rydak. Yep, that's her. Your Majesty. Being a Kolviard, you would know better than anyone. Your people suffered brutal treatment at the hands of the Cardassians. Their injustice towards the Kodliad is as unimaginable as it is unforgivable. Not unlike how we have been treated by the Alidians. As much as they'd have you believe they are the victims here, remember it was the Hotari who attacked us. Hundreds of innocent Alidians were slaughtered without mercy in those mines. The blood is on their hands, not ours. Quiet! If after all the Kobiat suffered, you finally had the chance to right that wrong, to get out from under their control, would you take it? Or would you negotiate a peace? I can't speculate on something that never happened, Your Majesty. Sadly, that opportunity never came for the Kobliad. No, it did not. But we'd be wise to learn from their example before we too find ourselves facing extinction. The Federation is the most powerful, most advanced alliance in the game. <laughs> I'm nervous. It's widely known we have an abundance of dilithium in our mind. And it's in your interest to secure a steady supply. Your Majesty, if I may. Ambassador Spock would have us believe you're here as a neutral party in the interest of peace. So why are you really here? I want the truth, not your Federation rhetoric. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but it's really not my place to say what the Federation's interests might be. You are their representative. I know! I am. But Ambassador Spock is better suited to address your concerns. I think I fucked. But they have oh, everyone hated that! that. Yes. No! Truth. The dilithium trade would not and will no longer exist without a Lydian involvement. We created it for the benefit of everyone. Oh, crap. Especially everyone hated time. that. We've given them warp technology. We've let them share in the profits. We've made their lives infinitely better than before dilithium was discovered. All oh, oh, that fuck. goes away if the Federation turns a blind eye to their treachery. That is enough of your lies. The Hotari are quite capable of running the mines. We've done so for centuries. Yeah. So I should have said that they want a peace. Who deserves control of the dilithium trade and the mines on town? We do. Who should the Federation recognize? The Hotari or the Alidians? It can only be one or the other, not both. If I have to choose only one, then it would have to be the Hotari. Well said. <laughs> How could the just and wise Federation make any other choice? <gasps> this is an outrage. The Federation has lost all. Hey, are you honest? Ours. Lydia will not be deterred. We will take back our minds by any means necessary. Then you will see more blood spilled. I am more than willing to address your. Concerns. These guys seem to be willing to talk with us Yours for the dilithium well. anyway. But I suggest we could have a more productive conversation with a smaller group. Did they? Hang on, they hate it. Oh, Spock's pissed. Thought Jara could be more forthcoming when she was being questioned by the Hotari Queen. Uh, Jara's evasiveness. Oh my god. It's fine. I'm sure it'd be fine. Most essential representative. It'd be fine. This would be fine, lads. I suppose there is some sense to that. Oh, I should have picked the fucking peace option. I knew it. Don't be neutral. I just thought that 
Like, it isn't my fucking business to be... I'm sorry, Dad! Oh, he's pissed at me. I just, I thought that it wasn't my place to be Bob saying it. Cover everything on the diplomatic oh my god. No, I won't save scum. You make nice with the locals and see if you can get some answers. Yeah, but I'm a first we officer, Bread. I'm a little so weenie. Spock's here. What happened in those mines? See, I thought that they would be um, better off owning the mines because they weren't only willing to... They were willing to talk to us about uh, the dilithium. And... It's kind of, it's not fair that they are being essentially forced to work in the mines. That's not cool. Hmm. <laughs> That's true. Same. That's true. I mean, I'm the main character. Such rough terrain. No wonder the Hotari are so tough. Oh, I, sh I fucking should have said, shouldn't I? Should have. Like, I should have said maybe that the dilithium is the... Oh, I don't know. Commander. I just didn't think that it was my business to be talking about it. Otari. I knew the Federation would see through the Elidian's baseless claims and protect the interests of my people. Even though the Hotari should have control of the mines. Oh no! That wasn't what I thought I was gonna be answering! No! There you're wrong. But we no! that wasn't what I thought that answer was! Oh, I'm so mad! I assume you were there the day the mines oh, were seized crap. from the Elidians. Not seized. Reclaimed. I can't really clap with me hands, Loss. It's yes, more of a... I was there. We had to be decisive. Before the Elidians could even realize their worst nightmares upon them. Were the Hotari miners armed during the I'm revolt? I'm so mad. I'm just trying to understand how it happened. If by that you mean armed with centuries of abuse and exploitation... I just, I thought Lydians, that... Then yes. Which doesn't really answer my question. We had them vastly overwhelmed from the start. They respect one I thought that it meant that they're not going away, as in, like, we have to think of a peace because they're not... The disappearing the outcome. I don't think that the, uh, aye, 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 aye. Peace is just that and worth little without the strength to secure it which makes me wonder about your ship the resolute undoubtedly the Federation's finest warship it's it's not ready to contend with anything the Elidians might have in store um. or is that not true maybe I've misjudged it no need to worry. Even in a worst-case scenario, the fleet is always within reach. But it would probably take them quite some time to get here. Maybe. Or we might have other ships in the sector. Mmm. Of course. So, the there's been uprising in the mines. I'm sure we'll cross paths. Again. These guys have been forced to work in the mines for the guys with the like the the big brains, <laughs> the other the other the other aliens with the big brains. Um, they own the mines and they force these guys to work there, presumably under not very good conditions. So we are here to broker of peace because they have seized the mines and um, we kind of need the dilithium commander Rydeck I'm encouraged to see the federation supporting my people this is uh... what might happen without your help I'm glad to hear it I just hope you're not the only one who feels that way I apologize for that I should have These said maybe about Spock I don't know I'm panicking now I'm off my much is changing. Off my groove. I saw you speaking with Sidron, our national hero. I'm curious, what did he say? He seems to be of the opinion that negotiating for peace is a waste of time. Because force is the only blunt instrument he understands. He's a miner, not a diplomat. 
for the first time in our history. Yeah, it's great that people are still making the tell like Telltale style games, even if Telltale isn't time. making them. New voices have risen up. Old voices shouted down. Galvin and Sidron have become national heroes. Now they have the Queen's ear. For better or worse, depending on your perspective. I get the sense you don't exactly trust them. I don't trust them. Oh, don't, don't worry, Loss. Which are leading us to war. My fear has been that the Illidians will launch an attack and crush us. You've seen their starship, no Good doubt. to keep them stretched. They could have retaken the mines whenever they wanted to. But it never happened. And as mm. strange as this may sound, I'd almost say they're afraid. I just don't know what they're afraid of. It's still the same bluster and bravado you would expect from them. But it has no teeth. Like they're afraid of what might happen. Do you think it has something to do with the Ion Storm? Right now, it's stronger than ever, isn't it? It's entirely possible. I'm not a scientist, but I do know the storm has knocked out all kinds of systems. So maybe the Lydians weren't willing to risk their ships, given all the interference. I think there's something bigger going on with the storm. Big out. Oh dang! Of the mines and restricted all access. When you can't even sleep and rest, that sucks, Lars. How long before you think it will clear up? The palace with just as much secrecy and security. I'm told it could be something they brought back from the mines. Mm. Made inquiries, but everyone pretends it doesn't exist. I strongly suspect they're hiding something. What do you think it is? I've heard rumors it's some sort of ancient artifact, but I haven't seen it. Oh, myself. are they not making the um? How can we know? I'd better see what's happening. Do what's happening with the wolf among us, Zach? I need to see proof of something before I can make my case to the Federation. I can try, but even if I found it, I might not know what to make of it. Take this. <gasps> oh, we're smuggling. Find it and then send it to me. We've now got a super best friend, though. Thank you. Super best friends. But you know what I find. And I look forward to our meeting again. Thank you. Loss, I hope it gets better. About a week. Sorry, okay, this I isn't too bad. Notice you were speaking with the Hotari this whole time. I figured in the interest of fairness, I should offer another perspective. Mm. Of course. I'm probably not telling I you really anything you don't voice actor. Know, but these negotiations rely on the Federation's neutrality, mm. as does any hope you might have for a supply of dilithium in the future. So why you would choose to side with the Hotari escapes me. Without a Lydian involvement, there is no dilithium trade. But clearly, you weren't aware. We are and will remain completely neutral. Our only interest is the peaceful resolution to this conflict. As is ours. Of course, the question is, at what price? A major solid arm inter, special attaché, Elidian armed forces. Pleasure to meet you, Commander. I feel like... No, I think that's I fine. I think saying that we are neutral, Hotari, but because I do want to stay neutral. They know how to seize an opportunity. Inciting an uprising the same day as a massive once-in-a-lifetime ion storm. I think that staying neutral while giving every the people who've yes, a very convenient anomaly, been exploited what, what they deserve. Of course, but, I wasn't there, but. Who am I to say otherwise? You sound skeptical. Well, like having an equal resolution might be the that these guys lose out on vote. something How for those guys to gain something. Unorganized miners seize control of an entire moon, much less thousands of mines. But I've talked to people who were there. They tell a different story. They say they're lucky to have escaped with their lives. That it was more than just the storm. That somehow the miners were able to harness the energy from the storm. 
I know it sounds crazy. I'm not even sure I believe it myself. But that's what they said. You just answered your own question. How do a group of miners do something that in theory can't be done? That's how. Harnessing the storm. But even if it's true, how does that even happen? You tell me. See, I thought there was something to do with the storm. If you'll excuse me, Commander Ryder. Okay. Yeah. Some kind of storm making artifact, I guess. Here is the storm! Oh my goodness. See you in the Nexus. Well, that was a disaster. What mm. happened? The Hotari refused to concede anything, so the Elidians stormed out. The Hotari did not invite us here as peacekeepers. Right. I hope your efforts were more fruitful than ours. Mm, yeah, I went more men, all right. I wonder if it's going to end up that the Hotari are actually the baddies. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Gravitational harmonics failing to resolve. Warp bubble stability degrading. Increase output to maximum. Increasing warp output to maximum. It's happening again. Yeah, I think that there's going to be no good guy, bad guy. It is evident that presently the Resolute cannot achieve warp propulsion. Since because right now you're like, okay, I kind of, you know, systems or anything about the ship. You're like, oh, I'm gonna, to gonna side with the Hotari, and itself. then it's probably gonna turn it's out that they want to wipe out the you're Lydians or something, and you're gonna be like, oh, prevents it or can't sustain it. However improbable that appears to be the case. The storm didn't stop us from leaving space dock and traveling here. Yeah. I suspect, yeah, I suspect it's going to be like some, something like they're going to want to wipe out the Elidians. And you're going to have to make the choice of whether... ...conclusion drive your analysis. Sometimes we need a little inspired thinking, Mr. Chobach. Captain Solano is on his way back from the negotiations, mm. and I want to have some answers for him when he gets here. Indeed. Given the facts at hand, we may be able to deploy <laughs> subspace probes around the ship. <laughs> I hated Law. I phenomenon. hated him so much. Around the ship. Really annoyed me Off how the they shelf. dealt with Law. I hope they make more of these games as well. I hope they make more Star Trek games. I'm always. Uh, What was Data's daughter's name? A distance roughly corresponding to the edge of our warp field. When we get there, I'll deploy the first probe. Okay. Fly the shuttle to your objective to complete the mission. Use W to fly forward, D to fly backwards, to turn, Q and E to ascend and descend. All right. Okay. Stay focused to maintain your course. Let's get this going. Okay. Ooh. Oh, Lau. Yeah, I remember now. Yeah. I wonder why they picked Lau. Commander Westbrook, the Resolute systems are calibrated to receive the probe's readings. We are standing by okay. to reproduce the warp field collapse what was after the, significant? the first probe is deployed. Thank you, Mr. Chovac. These kind of sound like an original shortly. series and sound Diaz effects. Do take care in piloting the shuttlecraft. Like the beep beep beep. time to indulge in the human that noise. For joy you might not be able to hear it. Chovak probably isn't such a fun guy to work for, huh? Laugh at law. Um. Nah, I just don't take it personally. At least I try not to. That's a very mature answer. Shows a positive attitude on your part. Why, well, I'm very humble. Remind me of it when I start complaining to you about the ship's new first officer. Why are you complaining about me? To me? Yeah, I really hated Law. Law was one of my least favorite, like, antagonists. I 
I guess that episode where he got all of those, um, I can't remember. You know, all those like cult followers was kind of interesting. This is far enough. <laughs> Transporting the first probe into position. I liked Wesley. I didn't like how they what they did with Wesley. Like I didn't like his the first probe is deployed. character Understood. art we are reading it. at the end. We are about to replay the simulation. But I thought that Wesley was a really good representation of someone who was just happy to be there. Like a little nerd that was just happy to be there. I just can't get a handle on her. Commander Rydeck. She rejected my plan to use a deflector pulse against the storm surge. But on the other, she did listen to my advice and use the whole polarity trick to get you through that excursion alone. Maybe she just does what she thinks is I'm right. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the new XO. I'm sure she's a fine officer, even if we don't see eye to eye. But she didn't go through what the rest of us did. You know that. And it's hard to figure out why she'd be the one Solano chose instead of, well, one of us. I've heard some good things. You should at least give her a chance. Yeah, give me a chance. From me. Test is running. Warp field collapse in three, is two, Geordie? one. I did like Geordie. The one. only episodes I didn't like Geordie in were the... Ooh. I didn't love oh. the, like, hologram right, episodes with Geordie. That gave me the heebies. Space. We need to get another probe out there. Yeah, there has to be a character who creates the fiction. Uh, day, friction. Fiction? Friction. Probe. We've managed to get an interference pattern. I'm setting a waypoint to a particularly strong area of interference. We'll deploy the second probe there. Ooh. All right. Yeah, it's almost like we're kindred Listen, spirits. Oh, I'm geez. gonna give you a piece of advice I wish someone had given me. Oh, yeah. Make sure you're never just one thing. And don't get so focused on what's in front of your face that you lose sight of the big picture. Thank you. That's nice. The captain pulled me into his ready room and told me he didn't think I had the people skills to be first officer. Well, yeah. <laughs> what a load of crap. Let's just say thanks for I the mean, advice. If he'd said that about Cholon, sure. You don't have the people skills, I but I'm not here to advice. insult you. I'll make sure I... <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to tell if you, you don't have anything nice to say, you're well sometimes it's best just not to say anything. You're a capable engineer. You're good in the field. Keep up the good work. Who knows? Solid jack of all departments like you could be commander in chief of Starfleet one day. Hell, Admiral Jellico started as a shuttle pilot. And there are places to go in the enlisted ranks, too. You know, I'd be the best leader Starfleet ever had. I'm just trying Lord to make small talk. To fix all the problems command causes. Maybe I just save everybody some steps. Well, don't forget about us little people when you're running things. <laughs> of course not. You gotta remember where you came from. Oh, there we go. He liked that. Oh, yeah! I know that one, Gullix. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's the, the one they put the thing on the face and Wesley has his girlfriend, doesn't he? Yeah. Here. Yeah, I Close guess, enough. like, Stop the engines. kids are... Kids, kids can be really annoying in... The probe. Like TV shows and films, is like because sometimes it feels like they're just getting in the way of the uh, kind of letting the adults do stuff. Very good. Running the simulation again. Um, but in three, two, I never one. felt like Wesley really got in the way that much. I mean, there was that one episode where he fell there into the flowers it seems to be when they were on holiday. What about the scans? Anything? I just throw it in as an extra. Yeah, it's just a treat. Here's the readings in relation to our local space. We've got the Resolute, Otari Prime, and the probes. All this interference is overloading the sensor. Yeah, I felt like the people who were making it a crime were more irritating than Wesley was. Oh, there. There's one. We got something. These markers indicate peaks in the gravimetric interference patterns. See if I can find some more. You should have been punished. I think one of my most annoying thing was uh, when Picard wouldn't like, but Be wouldn't let Beverly um, help out with those people that were being drugged. Hold up. 
This is coming from the you remember they were being like supplied with cocaine to keep them under control by us. someone is doing this intentionally I don't know how they're doing it it's like nothing I've ever seen why would they be doing this we came here to help these people and now we're getting hit by some I always uh it was one of the first episodes look here and when I was watching it I was like Julian would never let this happen they line up with the interference pattern the storm and this beam they're coming from the same place Carter whatever petty local like I like Beverly but she wasn't my favorite doctor I don't think Julian was my favorite Julian was my favorite and then maybe the hologram hologram doctor from Voyager is clear this is no fluke thank you mr. Westbrook I want a full briefing when I'm back on board. Solano out. And then Beverly Crusher, and then Bones, I think. Coming from the Moon Tau. That would explain the difficulties my shuttle encountered. More importantly, the tenor of the Hotari during the negotiations. And here I thought the Elidians would be the problem. Coming to peace talks in a warship. Wow. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like. It wasn't supposed to be so complicated. For all their posturing, every indication is that the Elidians are afraid of the Hotari. They didn't bring their warship mm. as a threat. They brought it because they're scared. From everything we witnessed, I would say that is highly likely. But what are they afraid of? Tylus, the Hotari representative, said she thought they found something in the mines. Galvin and Sidron brought it back to the palace, but they're keeping it under tight security. She's going to investigate it. I gave her my tricorder. I've got a makeup I expect she'll contact for the whoopsie soon. I made for being Found neutral. Why would Tylus help us? Hello. Go behind her people's back? It's a fair question, considering. She doesn't like the way Galvin and Sidron have been manipulating the situation. And the Queen. Working with us to go around them isn't the same as betraying her people. Hmm. That may be true. She's certainly more likely to help than the other Hotari we've met. That raises another question. Specifically, what do the other Hotari have to gain in bringing us here, only to make this hostile maneuver against us? Oh, them? I think they can... There must be some motivation. Unless they changed their minds between when they asked and when we got here. Given their indifference to the negotiations, and what we now know about this I war think they want women. a war because they seem Almost to want us want to start a war and they were asking about the, the only um, the respect is force capabilities right of our that. ship they and thought it was they the best the in the fleet pack. but that does not explain why they would turn their aggressions against us no I don't think the Elidians know what's really down on that moon either major Armentis said the revolt defied explanation that the Hotari miners somehow harnessed the energy of the storm. Harness the energy of the storm? Doing that is beyond even our capabilities. So I think maybe they want to hold us for ransom traffic. over the Dilithium. There have been civilizations and entities, both past and present, far more technologically advanced than the Federation. The Elidians and Hotari don't fall into that category. But that is all the more reason to investigate further. Commander Rydek, sorry to interrupt. We've received an urgent call from Atari. The Queen's advisor, Tylus, has asked to speak with you. Put her through. Galvin and Sidron are still with the Queen. I've enlisted help to gain access to the room they have under guard. I don't have much time. I'm not supposed to leave my post. It's only for a moment. I so appreciate your help. Oh, it's great, Zenon. I do feel like I'm in an episode of Star Trek. I found something. I'm sending you a scan. Oh, <gasps> what is that? Got it. Tylus, if we needed to gain access to the mines on Tau, is that something you could help us with? It's so good. Your score is inadequate. You'll have to repeat the mission. 
Tylus. Gullix, thank you. I know, right? Yeah, how many breaches of protocol, Sorry, right? It shouldn't. The only thing that could make it worse is if the chief engineer was here as well. You know, that's something that frustrated... ...with in Enterprise. Because I so often was Commander Tucker... ...Captain Archer... ...and, like, other high-ranking individuals were on shuttles just together and how often Captain Archer was permitted to just leave the ship just because he wanted to. I was like, no! <laughs> they were like, oh, Captain Archer, do you want to lead the charge? That's, you know, if you want to, you can do. Hey, Jeffrey! Good morning! Welcome on board. Yeah, everyone with three pips and I've kept the shuttles. The Federation would not allow that. We're, after all, sent here to be a neutral party yep. in a peace negotiation. However, yeah, I loved it when Captain Archer would take point and Malcolm would be, like, bringing up the rear. And I just... ...investigate the mines on town with full justification. But, of course, we would need conclusive proof before taking action. Otherwise, it could put us in a difficult position. Whatever this artifact is may be proof enough, at least to satisfy the Federation. Especially if we can show the Hotari are controlling the warp disruption and targeting the Resolute. We may have a better understanding once we analyze the device. But a mission yeah, I love how we're all on the same shuttle, even though is not we know that there is an ion storm. You'd think they would put us on we'll two separate ones at least. I think that was great. I think everyone liked that. Okay, maybe not. Well, he liked this. Liked how Jara took responsibility for any danger Tylus might encounter by helping the Federation. Let me go. Spock is still a bit sad with me, but I'm sure he'll he can come around. Um, Ed Salah was reminded how much she values her friendship with Carter when he said she doesn't owe him anything for letting her go first on the whole. And Miranda won't soon forget that romantic kiss with Carter when they were saying goodbye at the docking bay. Lieutenant Commander Chovak agreed with Carter's purely logical approach to working on Ambassador Spock's shuttle, and Commander Westbrook enjoyed his conversation with Carter, coming away with the impression that he's smart, pragmatic, and confident in his knowledge of the ship. And then Spock was, you know, th thinks I'm a team player. As I was telling oh. Carter, I want all the data I can get on this war problem. Yeah, I feel like the story's really solid so far. Data all the way back from Spock liked me earlier, but he's uh. Better than our because I was too neutral. Pull the sensor and engine ISOs from the Melville when it sets down. Ah, it's Will whatever. You? I could have said something worse. <laughs> I'll join you in I could have gone worse. To run another analysis after the briefing. I'm okay with it now. I didn't like this warp problem when we thought it was some astronomical anomaly. And I like it a hell of a lot Oh, we didn't have to go through like any... Even do about it. We didn't have to go through any decontamination. Find out. Took some damage on the mm. way. I don't know how long this game is. That ionic interference scored the hull plating. Might be some micro welds. Let's try pulling together. All right. Three, two, one. It won't budge. Gotta be the storm damage. We need to... Welcome back. Any excitement down on the surface? Excitement? No. Nothing like that. Why is she being sussy? Hey, can you hand me the EJ-7 interlock? From the toolbox. I don't know what that is. Not much use Aren't for you one in... of us. Oh, detail, security huh? detail. Carter? Yeah, I'll get it. Um, is it this one? What did she want me to get? That one, I think. I thought being professional. Okay. I'll apply pressure. Will you I thought that was, panel? you know, 
Like, we're trying to do a work thing right now, right? Like an important work thing. Here, I'll help. There we go. It's nice. We've got this. Hey, she just kind of yes. That's kind of look. Thanks for the hand. Alex. We have to get these isolinear chips down to engineering. No problem. You really know everything about these ships, don't you? I recognize her voice actor. Systems. Like a walking Starfleet technical manual. Well, I wouldn't say everything. But I know my stuff. <laughs> you can see that. I recognize her voice actor. Come on. Oh, that was neutral. Chance. She didn't mind that. My mother. My father was a sh <laughs> shuttle. Don't ask me how that worked out. <laughs> Making sure I get my clicks in. <gasps> I dropped one. How embarrassing. <gasps> oh my goodness. What is that? Oh, she's a shapeshifter? <gasps> a changeling! Oh shit, hang on. Hey, Yesu! Whoa. This substance is a quantized spin crystallization of hydrogen, carbon, and lithium. Do you like it's the new look of Starcraft? At an interval of 3.8422 seconds. Quantized crystallization yes. isn't natural. <laughs> I mean, it's only theoretical as a means to engineer matter on a subatomic level. What's it doing in there? Yeah, luckily I fumbled it. I feel like picking it up is a bad idea. Wait. Regulation 364, subsection 9. What? Regulation 364, subsection 9 orders that in the case of an unknown foreign substance infiltrating a sealed system, it will be placed in secure confinement before I do examine. agree with her. Yeah. Retrieve a containment module. Oh my god, but she's being sussy. To deal with whatever this is? No. Before anything else, this is a security I do I agree with her. You don't even know what this is, which is why we need to study it once it's contained. Well, if it's not natural, then someone might have put it there. It could be a tracking device. Some kind of sabotage. Yeah, it could be radioactive. Which is why we need to get it to the containment lab. Come on. I can't make an exception. Not but she is being me. sussy. I'm still going to report these crystals to Commander West. Oh, absolutely do. And I will inform my superiors. I'm taking this just as seriously as you are. But I overheard talk about the warp disruption on the shuttle. Now these crystals... Maybe this situation yeah, is more true, than to handle with just a science vessel. Oh! <gasps> trigger a distress call. Get Starfleet to send more ships. No, that's none of your or fucking I business. Send a message to my old CO on the Adirondack. That this sounds like a mess. tested vessels. Miranda, you gotta be more careful. If someone hears that, they could think you're talking mutiny. I'm just trying to don't figure touch out it. how we can help. You don't know where it's been. Okay, stand back. <laughs> Don't touch it, Laura. Thank you, Gullix. <laughs> get this to the container. I now. just... We'll get it set up for you. I'll let you know when it's safely confined. I oh, will be there. Really don't think we should have touched it. Study this down in main engineering and have it explode next to the warp core. I do agree that she should... Oh my god, ma'am. Almost forgot. Ah. Ah yeah, thanks. For that. For a second I thought she'd gone cold on you. Like she might have changed her mind. Ah but I guess this whole situation has her spooked. Maybe she knows more than us. Or it's because this is all happening so fast. Yeah, there was something a little off about her. 
Like that talk about sending a distress call? That was pretty out there. Uh huh. She was probably just thinking out loud. I'm. What did she not like about that? Notice how Carter shared her suspicion when Miranda returned. Okay. okay. This mission has enough complications. Because that's just the kind of thing that you might say to a friend if your friend is acting odd. You, me, and Miranda too. It's like a, you know, it's it's not like necessarily bad gossiping behind their back. It's you know concern, right? Able to work behind the scenes during the negotiation. That she did seem a bit off. Representative from the Hotari delegation. She mentioned an unusual Live long and prosper, Hyle. Spock. Being held under tight security it's Spock. Within the Hotari Palace, which she believes came from the mines on Tau. Now, this artifact might have a connection. <laughs> you can't talk about me behind your back. Behind my back. After the warp disruption we now know has been targeted at the Resolute. Commander Ridic. Don't have enough jaws. Of course. Tylus managed to infiltrate the heavily guarded location within the palace and sent us these scans using my tricorder. It appears to be some sort of control panel, possibly connected to the warp disruption. I can't tell whether maybe Tylus is luring is us, symbol, though. Which we couldn't identify the origin of. The Federation database has records from a vast number of civilizations. If anyone from Starfleet has come across this before, the system should recognize like maybe Tylus is working Federation for the records. displaying symbols from Federation other side with a 90 percent probability of match or higher select a symbol to further analyze None of these look quite right. Oh, Klingon! Nice. You know, that is what this game is missing. Some Klingons. I guess it could be backwards. Or upside down, even. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, did I get it right? Oh my god, I'm such an intellectual genius. And humble as well. 99.2% match. Got it. It is. <laughs> I got it right first time. So how cool am I? The design and composition indicate this is a glyph associated with the ancient Khan Empire. Their civilization collapsed over 600,000 years ago, but once spanned millions of systems with a population numbering in the trillions. Fascinating. The Takan were once the most advanced, <laughs> ah! most powerful <laughs> civilization in the galaxy. Is it so I feel. 100 Captain Humblebrug strikes now. again. <laughs> yeah, it's still humble though. <laughs> My knowledge of the Takan is limited. Um, I have only encountered passing references to them. I can't speculate about how much they know, but one thing's for sure. Yeah. They know how to use it. Indeed. Which might explain how they seized control of the mines and targeted us with a weapon that prevents warp travel. Computer, what is the last recorded discovery of other Takan <laughs> artifacts? On Stardate 41386.4. <laughs> The USS Enterprise D, under the command of Captain Jean Luc Picard, discovered a Takan outpost in the Delphi Ardu system. According to the mission summary, an unbreakable energy draining field was deployed against the Enterprise and a Ferengi ship. Oh, I remember the it. Enterprise was only able to escape after negotiating their release with an entity known as Portal 63. Guardian. Do we remember Takan it? I remember it. I think I do. Energy draining field. It starts to make sense. I think I remember this. Episode. There's a lot. Here. <laughs> Let's take it piece by piece. Select the aspect you wish to learn more about. Um, I'll learn about that guy. Someone from the Takan Empire is actually still around. Or at least was, 16 years ago. Computer, what other information do you have on Portal 63? 
guardian of the Takan Empire. The mm -hmm. entity known as Portal 63 is of an unknown nature. I thought the but first Frankie Humanoid, episode was, was the that the Takan Empire no longer existed at the time of the, the encounter. The Black Ooze he episode. He was able to control the crystal-based technology of the Takan outpost through apparent telepathic means. It was by his choice that the Enterprise was released from the energy draining field after Commander William T. Riker of the away team argued on behalf of both Starfleet and This is interesting. They didn't use control of their technology. Majel Barrett's they were the most voice. advanced civilization in the galaxy. They used a different computer voice. I want to find out about the Enterprise. The technology to capture and hold the Federation flagship would have to be unbelievably powerful. I thought the Frankie that were there for some reason. What else can you tell Why? us about the energy draining field the Takan used? The Enterprise D was unable to break free on its own. The precise nature of the technology was never fully understood. Only that the crystalline technology used was beyond the comprehension of then current Starfleet science. The engineering team found a quantized spin crystal formation in the shuttle you took to Hotari. They registered mm. petrometric radiation coming from it. Maybe they use the same set we for it. To That's why I merged them together. Right we might. Because it was like both a, a dusty in the containment lab. Sandy planet, wasn't it? Alright, let's. What sort of planet is Delphi Ardu 4? Delphi Ardu 4 is an M class planet, a barren rock yeah. world with little to no vegetation and frequent ion storms. That's probably the why I get them mixed up, because the Ferengi had those whips as well, didn't they? Understood how they do so. The entire Delphi Ardu system consists Maybe the planets was considered completely uninhabited. Those are in the mines those crystals. Frequent ion storms. Real that people, Cozy. Although they might have gotten some them. sort of restriction order from Starfleet. Computer, explain this restriction. A Starfleet directive similar to General Order. It's such a shame they didn't use. The Luxana's voice. Hey, alien. Starfleet doesn't throw up a no trespassing sign for just anybody. I suppose it makes sense considering what happened to the Enterprise D. I don't know. Don't give me any step of that. Spoilers. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen the movies yet. For all we know, this might be just the beginning. We're up against something greater than we can imagine. There's only one way to find out. We need to see what's down there for ourselves. I might be able to help with that. <laughs> That's true. So I know that the Enterprise the of the ionic interference gets destroyed in some way because Worf is sad. Engineering use the yeah, but they've got her. The they um there. copied her voice and stuff. So she gave before she looked. died. She gave them all uh, voice samples Rogers, so that they right. could still keep using you her. Need to know what's down there, what the Hotari are hiding, to better understand what we're up against, and to neutralize <laughs> it if we can. Captain, embarking on a mission to the Hotari moon would not be viewed favorably by either side. However. Given the circumstances, we are entirely within our rights to defend ourselves. I just want to make sure this doesn't blow up in our faces. Which is why I'm thinking of sending mm. Commander Rydek on a covert mission to Tau. I would be honored. Assuming you're up to the task. It would require absolute secrecy. And obviously, it's not without risk. I'm ready for action, Captain. Just say the word and I'll be there. I'll admit. I wish I could kill myself. <laughs> I'm hoping Tylus can accompany you. The priority is to avoid detection. It's a calculated risk. The last thing we need is to get caught and then blamed for violating our neutrality and aggravating an already <laughs> Did you hear situation. That? <laughs> we can't afford any mistakes. Which is why I've chosen you. Yes, sir. I'll do everything in my power to make sure no one knows I'm there. Good. Of course, you'll have full support from the resolute. Hopefully. We'll make sure we take every precaution. Every precaution. You gotta make Get space for more miniatures, Rex. Necessary arrangements as discreetly as possible. Bridge to Captain Solano. The Olydians have moved additional ships to the edge of the Hotari system. Current heading is straight for the homeworld. <laughs> Understood. It would seem we no longer have the luxury of waiting. In that case, may I suggest nice. you and I return to Hotari? Take a peep. Doing so will provide Commander Rydek as much time as possible to complete her mission. Agreed. We'll hail the Queen's delegation from my ready room. We all know what we need to do. 
Dismissed. Yeah, I don't know what kind of budget this game had as well, because they might have a, had some constraints for how much they could, like, get from Paramount. Oh, this is cool. Petty officers Diaz and Ed Salar, where is the crystal formation that you found in the shuttle? I have tasked Ensign Calloway with performing Voice, um, a full analysis of the tetrametric... Some of the audio forces. skips a little bit. Security brought it to the containment lab. I was just there. They don't know anything about it. Security never checked it in. Andrew, Andrew never got there. I would She's never. The one that had the crystal formation. Yeah, her and the rest of the security detail from the negotiation. Diaz to Maris. Carter Diaz to Miranda Maris. Commander Westbrook to Petty Officer Miranda Maris. Respond. Yeah. Something's not right. She's still on the ship. She has to be. Computer, locate Petty Officer Depending Miranda Depending on what the... Petty Officer Miranda Maris is in the isolinear storage array on deck five. I'll go find her. Depending on what the timeline of this is like, it could be sure actually Diaz a changeling. This on his own. Ah. I will remember that, don't I? I have been going through the GOG sale. Someone improperly pulled these isolinear chips. Hmm. As always, fit miniatures are miniature anyway, Rooks. You know? You can fit them anywhere. Always space for more. This is quite not like, this is very cool. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder if Miranda is. Oh, okay, I wonder if Miranda only started dating us because she was hoping we will keep quiet about this. And I'll go back to what I said to her when she asked us to date her. I don't even know her, so I I don't mind reporting her. Did this? I can and I will report her for this. I'm not going to call for her because... Well, not exactly being fucking quiet though, are we? Hey, Darren! I just feel like dating someone on the engineering team is probably... If you're going to be up to no good... Probably someone that you'd like to date, right? I would have used my comm badge by now, though, to report her. It's just you. What are you up to? Doing what? You can come back later. I called you on the comm badge. Twice. Commander Westbrook, too. Why didn't you answer? Oh. 
I guess I was just caught up. Oh, what are you? What are you up to? But I'm through here. Oh yeah. So I can't stay and chat. I have other things to do. Sorry you came all this way for nothing. Well, hold on a second. Commander Westbrook said the crystal formation we found in the shuttle never made it to the containment lab. He sent me to find you. Hey, Amelia. I don't know why he'd say that. I brought the crystals to the lab myself. Whatever he told you, he got it wrong. All I know is where I left them. If that's the case, let's both go down there and find them. It's that simple. Don't let her out of I your don't sight. Have time for that. I have work to do. Don't let her out of your sight. Look, I appreciate that you came to check on me, but I'm fine. You worry too much. We're on a starship. Nothing's gonna happen to me here. Miranda, you can be honest with me. Are you in some kind of trouble? The crystals are missing, and now... I, I don't even know what you're doing in here pulling isos. Will you drop it? No. I'm being interrogated, Carter. Don't hey, drop it! Don't up? drop it! Don't drop it! I would have gotten out my phaser. I don't know if we carry a phaser, though. I'm getting some very mixed signals from you right now. I'm sorry. I'm under a lot of stress right now. Why? Just tell Chovak or whoever I don't know where the crystals are and let me go about my business. No. I know we have some things to figure out. I don't have time to stand around and debate with you. Not right now. I want to help you, but you're not making it easy. Then I'll try to make it simple. You don't have to say anything at all. Miranda, hold on. No. Get out of my way. Punch her. <gasps> Punch her. She is security. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it and run. Oh my god, my fingers are sweating. Yes. So I see you found each other. <gasps> oh, thank god. You were taking so long, the commander sent us to see what the problem was. Diaz, you were sent here with specific orders, and fighting your crewmate wasn't one of them. What the hell is going on here? Let's just let them explain. I'd like to hear that, because I know what it looks like. There's something seriously wrong with her. She's not herself, I'm telling you. What does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. Well, for one, she was copying data onto this. This drive is unauthorized. There are ice. I am all so all sweaty all right now. And that's why I was in here, investigating this situation. And when Carter came looking for me, we got our wires crossed. It wasn't anything more than that. Look, I wish I was wrong about this. That I was overreacting. More than anything. But I know what I saw, and it's not what she's saying. I can't believe this. I don't know what's going on here, but I think we need to call it into security. She can explain herself in the brig. Hold on a minute. We don't need to put this on anyone's permanent record. Carter said you're not yourself. If something's wrong with you, we should head to sick bay and the doc will fix you right up. Yeah, I... I haven't felt right since I came back from Hotari. I think I should see the doctor. You two know her? If you really think she's not well, we can take her to sick bay first. But what I know is this is a security breach, and we should treat it as such. Please, just let me go see the doctor. She did have a bumpy ride back on the shuttle. This is Petty Officer Diaz. I need a security team to deck five. This is unbelievable. I think that was the right call too. I can make it a tad bit louder, but I can't make it too much louder. That's as loud that's as loud as it goes. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, it was too many sinister glances, and she was really weird about the because it's it's not only um, that we found her doing sussy things, but we also found the, that she hadn't given the crystal. Foliage on right? tile resembles underwater plant life on Earth. The universe is full of mysteries. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, I can't tell if, if she could be a changeling as well. And I feel like her saying, oh, you know, I haven't felt well since I've come back. It's just a way to defer, like, guilt, I guess. Like, that she... I you know, see found your tortured glances nervously at two cold people lying on top of each other on the floor. Twister! <laughs> Thank you very much, Bass. <laughs> Rydek here. This is Irma. Any trouble getting to the surface? I'm really starting to miss transporters. As long as this storm is around, you'd better learn to like shuttles. But if you can find the cause of the interference, we might be able to get back to transporting. As if I needed another incentive. We both know there's a lot more than that riding on this. Fair enough. You'll need to get in and out of the mine undetected, so I hope Minister Yeah, Tyler it wouldn't surprise me if she wasn't brainwashed, but I think that we can figure that out from the brig as well. Covered, we'll refrain from contact unless absolutely necessary. Understood. Ride it out. I think she can be medically examined in the brig where she's not a dangerous to anyone. I saw something back here, maybe not. Oh, yeah. I can crouch under this. Although, you know, just before we do this, I want to see what... Noticed how Carter shared her suspicion... And she was confused when she uh, when she seemed concerned for her well bring being yet still sent her to the brig. Well, I was conf I was worried about your well being, but then I did still because you were being fucking sussy. What does Spock think? So Spock likes this guy, and Spock is a little bit disappointed in Jara. Um, thought I could be more forthcoming, so. The ionic interference is coming from underground. Oh. I should find a safer way down there. See my teeth. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't want me to be a fence sitter. I just panicked because I felt like it just wasn't my place to start saying <gasps> who I thought the Federation supported considering I have not been chosen as a representative of the Federation in this particular like they chose Spock and I'm just here for some reconnaissance otherwise hopefully no one else did it's good to see you even under these unfortunate circumstances when you called to give us a scan, it sounded like they caught you. I was worried you'd been hurt. It was nothing I couldn't handle. <gasps> yes, sir. Thank you. Lead the way. Thank you. I'll fill you in on what we've learned about the situation. Follow me. I'd choose me over Spock as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if there's going to be a romance. The device Galvin and Sidron brought back from the mine. The music it's makes me think maybe. Some sort of work <laughs> disruption weapon. That has the resolute trapped in Hotari space. But I think we're just according to our readings. I think I think we're just super best friends. Is on this moon at the specific I'm not sure. I sent you. That sounds impossible. But explains the rumors of the Hotari controlling the ionic storm. We strongly suspect the device was created by an ancient empire known as the Takan. Not if I keep sitting on the set, sitting on the fence we can romance book. But they've been gone for over 600,000 years. It's hard to believe there's something like that on Tau. Which is why I need proof. If we find hard evidence that Galvin and his allies are hiding dangerous Takan technology, 
I can convince the Federation to let us intervene. Understood. We're almost there. But what does it mean to us to intervene? Do we... Are we starting a war? Or will we start supporting the other side rather than this side? I, I feel like we're not fully thinking through the consequences of what it means to start accusing these, these people of... Obviously, we've got to investigate, but I think... Wow. That's the mine? Prospect 614 North, subdivision 20. It's enormous. Just one of the thousands of Hostel. Yeah, this is pretty. The pride of Hotari. How do we get inside? The structure that circles the mine has entry points for transporting equipment into the lower levels. They're guarded, but nothing I can't get past using my authority. Well, that's good to hear. As long as you can avoid being seen, I should be able to talk my way past any miner. And provide a little distraction for you in the process. How do I avoid being seen? You don't use the door. Eyebrows raise. Oh. oh. I was just, I, I just wanted to check if she likes us. Oh, she's not on our, like, uh, friend list. Dare you. Don't you know who I am? I... I am Tylus Altaris, Minister of Diplomatic Affairs. That's not... The Queen would be furious to hear you try to deny me entry. The Queen? But I just... You just... Just what? Just now realize the trouble you've made for yourself? And who exactly do you think you're going to report this to? Because I'll be reporting this as well to someone much further on the ladder. You have no authority here. Do you understand who pays your wage? I can inform the Queen directly of this incident. Let's get a look inside you. Does your brain function? Do you speak our tongue? I have a word. How should a fellow who you could not understand us predict your own brains? I bring the end of my speeches. The scope of the speech is there. I, I told you I can't just... Now! Good luck. A wise choice. Lead the way. So far. Good morning. Full system access. Let's see if I can just bingo. No. We're not nerds here. Fast. Thank you very much. The gift in a sub to so far. Thank you so very much. So far. Welcome to the weenies. Oh, it's going pretty well. So, better hurry. There Once is long, can keep him busy. a group of people who have been kind of be being uh, exploited, or uh, hmm, this. Look. Hmm. might be rigged to only open for registered users. Hmm. No control panel here. I should take a look with my tricorder. They've been being exploited by the people who are running the mines or owning the mines. Oh. And they have risen up in... Oh. And taken back the mines. And we are here to broker a peace treaty between them. Something in However, door it seems like the people who are who have taken back the mines are using some kind of ancient alien technology that is attacking our ships. And I think that it's gonna should remove the security check on the door. Think it's gonna come out to nobody being 
kind of a good choice. And Spock's here. Yeah, so they're controlling an ion storm. Which is putting our ship in significant danger. And Spock's here, which is just super cool. So we are... We are in the mine colonies right now. Is it a mine colony or is it just a mine? Is it just a mine? Well, we're in the mines now to try and find out what they are using to control the ion storm and attack us. Yeah, I don't know where we are in the canon exactly. I don't know whether we are uh, during TNG, post-TNG, so prior to business, TNG. And you will take yourself out of my sight. Spock is wearing a similar outfit to the outfit he wears there you are. when he goes you to really have it. Romulus. It worked, didn't it? I'm used to having to throw my weight around. Hard to get anyone to listen to you otherwise. I'm impressed. I didn't know you had it in you. There's a lot you don't know about me. Underestimate me at your peril. Well, I mean, I've only known you for like two days, so I understand why I wouldn't know that much about you. Not to like, you know. I've only met you once. <laughs> well, we're inside. Where do you want to start? <laughs> the ionic interference is coming from below us. We need to go deeper. <laughs> I don't down. know you. But we can't use it without DNA authorization from one of the guards. I have an idea, but we need a few samples of DNA from the miners who work here. Samples? Fingerprints, sweat, blood. Which will trick the machine and get us control of the lift. That's the theory. Let's test it. Okay. A little bit of poop goes a long way. Should we have a look? That's wow. One of our strongest. The miners dump everything they find into the center, and the tractor beam moves it all up into the collector ship. You sound a little proud of it. The Illidians may have given us new tools, but the methods of excavation. So are I'm a little bit sussy with that the changelings might be here as well. Uh, I don't know. That would be super cool. I'd love it if Miranda ended up being a changeling. That would make me happy. Maybe there's going to be something over here. What's in all these containers? These contain mining supplies. Tools, energy packs for machinery. Shouldn't mining supplies be inside the mines? It is troubling. If the workers here aren't mining. <laughs> well, the little nerds. DNA is, is among one of the worst but ideas I've ever heard, heard in my life. I can't use this. You leave DNA everywhere. Because we're in the case the lock isn't super easy the to bypass, it would be triggering DNA on bad DNA. What about inside day? that structure? Yeah, like I wonder if you like touched your friend, you would then get their DNA. She said, Lydian console. All the managerial technology in the mines. It is a bad idea. So they can keep an eye on their investment. Like if you were cleaning. Hey, there we go. Do you reckon I can scan it from out here? Hygiene clearly isn't a priority down here. What is that? Is that a is that a sack of poop? Uh, what you got in here? Is a lot of DNA. I should look for the most concentrated spots.
Yeah, like this is so insecure. Let me scan your jaw with my tricorder. Oh, there we go. Cool. <laughs> and me jaws. It's a stable DNA sample. It's only partial, but a few more should do it. Lovely, jubbly. Should we go in here first? It's nice. Otari must be tough on the inside, too. Well, I mean, they just, they, they, it does just look like bread. I mean, it doesn't look like anything. Like that, that. It's not like gah or anything. Which is perhaps a little bit less concentrated enough. familiar. I should try somewhere else. Mm hmm. There's gotta be stable DNA here. One of my favorite things is when um, they're like, oh, this guy isn't even fresh. It's not wriggling anymore. Captain Tingle. Tingle, Tingle. Oh, look. Dental prints? Fun. Good. That's another I could use. Just need one more sample. You want to see my tractor beam? Some kind of glowing <laughs> mineral being used as an answer. <laughs> one of these for my cabin, actually. Thank you, Mr. West. Oh, look, there we go. Hmm. Leftovers. He doesn't look that bad. Like, this a scan. It legit doesn't look that bad. Almost looks like coffee. Almost. Yeah. I'll have some rapid. Oh, it looks like a mug cake. If they eat in here, it's likely there's some. I like that episode. Room. Isn't he served with a. Does he serve with Wolf's brother? Or am I mashing two episodes together? Not enough. Hmm. Gotta keep looking. Oh, yeah, I think I must be mashing two together then. This'll work. Two. Perfect. That's enough to make the DNA profile. Time to go back to the lift. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. You're not coming inside? There are some things I'd rather not smell. Ah. Oh. Fair enough. Let's get this very secure DNA lock. Hey, unlocked. tractor man! <laughs> oh, wow. Tractor tip in. Wow, 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 Do you think wow, we could just find a way to climb wow. over this? Mirror, where is Graham? No shortcuts then. I've never heard wow said in so many different <laughs> thank you RK. thank you it wow theory proven i'll get it started i don't quite understand i do get that she's helping us because she doesn't like that the Guys have kind of usurped her place. And she. I think she doesn't like that her country might be doing some. Or, you know, planet might be doing something un, uh, non, not honorable. But I kind of. I guess I kind of don't quite get why she wants to help us. Jara. No, stay back. There's a guard at the station. You'll have to hide. Maybe she does think we're cute. Is this where you want me to hide? Oh! 
Right there. Right there. Who are you? What are you doing here? You watch your tone with me. I'm Tylus Altaris, Minister of Diplomatic Affairs. I speak for the Queen herself. This is a restricted area. No one gains access without the approval of Galvin or Sidron. Wait. Jewess Gawad of Oenja. <laughs> Are you all right? I... I don't know. Are Should I have not done that? No, I, I just... I thought if I could talk my way through like always, I'd be fine, but... I, I, I'm a diplomat. This isn't what I do. Oh, it's all right. I don't you worry. This is just... It's real now. It's okay. Tylus. You can do this. I don't see what you're basing that on. All you've shown me so far is... <laughs> I don't know if know I said that to kill. I hope people. not. I don't expect that's changed. No. Uh, the no, hot, hot Ari, I think? My authority has never been challenged like that. It meant nothing to him. So we should assume any Hotari we encounter from yeah. here on can't be reasoned with. Agreed. The only loyalty they have down here is to Galvin and Sidron. Can you switch over the lift? The guard should have a scan card that will allow us to operate the switch. Do it! Got it. Should I have, like, looked at him? No, I'm sure it's fine. The less we touch him, the better, He's I think. Not dead, is he? No, but we can him. throw him over the side if you want. Oh, okay. My Sorry. My set to stun. He'll be perfectly fine. Just unconscious for a while. <laughs> or not. Or not throw him over the side. We don't have that sort of technology on our weapons. Maybe we That's should take enough. his weapon away. No? Okay, cool. We'll leave it then. We'll even be. What's he gonna do when he wakes up, though? His dignity. Well, take his socks as well, Yasu. I'm not sure whether Federation law lets you do that. Maybe we just told her that it's set to stun there. <gasps> oh, you did! How are you liking it? I am, I think, about a third of the way through. I've been taking it a bit slowly. Stay low and follow my lead. I want to see what she thinks of me. Tyler's felt proud after Jara supported the way she handled the guard in the mines on Tau, but she was shaken by her encounter with the another guard, so she was grateful for Jara's encouragement and support. Cute. Okay. Lovely. Is that all dilithium? Not all of it. We excavate large chunks of rock that contain In general, of I think ore. if we can just get everyone sort to like us, the collectorship above. then things are going to go more smoothly for us, right? Make your own rules. Make your own socks as well. Learn knitting. Yeah. Imagine if life just had a press enter to see how much everyone likes you. Take as a sign we're getting close. I'll get a closer look. Oh. Cool. Alright. Looks like they've improvised a barrier. That's yes, we must be getting closer. This is quite well fortified for somewhere that nothing's going on. These are cool. Can you get those in real life? We need that particular card, don't we? I'm afraid so. Can you open that door? Not without that scan card. No, the um like the binoculars that we're using. Uh like Electronic binoculars. We don't have time to wait for them to finish whatever they're doing. 
We'll have to try to keep low and sneak past them. Oh, I lost. I wouldn't so stand cool. a chance against all three of them. I don't like our options here. I have to get us that. I like her too, Brad. How, How far are you in into it? Galvin and Sidron's followers are clearly willing to kill to protect whatever is in this mine. Oh, you cute hey, little lady. I'm trained for this. I'll be fine. What should I do? Just wait here. Avoid being seen. Stick to the edge of the room and meet me at the door. <laughs> what was that? He Captain America. During stealth sequences, there are enemies that, if alerted, will hunt you and try and catch you if you call the mission has failed. Okay. Is there not, like, something more to... No? Okay. See that guy. Good. Oh, I fucking love the like the illustrations of the dragons. Amazing. Realistic as well. Oh, no superhero landing? That's a shame. It's just a matter of time. Almost complete. Panicking a bit, sorry, lads. <gasps> An intruder. Oh, fuck! How long is Galvin going to make us wait? Wait. I'm not worried. He's led us well so far. I think we're okay. I'd melt if I went through there. I think he's fine, lads. I think he's alright. They got immediately got distracted. Must have been the wind. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, lads. I got so annoyed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe they heard me shout. <laughs> Maybe a chat likes it, Yasu. It's hoping they can't hear that. <laughs> I don't even want to know how loud I was just then. I'm flappable. That's why they chose me for this uh, very stealthy mission. Alright, what are we looking at? What? Motion sensors. Ah. They'll trigger an alarm. We'll be found. Invisible to the naked eye. Well, I mean, I can see them. How will we get through? 
I prefer my eyes to have clothes on them, personally, but there we go. Oh, Christ, All right, sure. Presumably just don't get hit by them, yeah. Make sure my ass doesn't hit that one. Where am I getting to? Hang on, let's see, where am I going? Over there or over here? Let's go over here first. <laughs> oh, I can't. Okay, right. Put that thing down. Jesus Christ. Apparently, we cannot both crouch and have. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I can literally see them as well. Not to... Uh... Okay. Obviously, I'll keep doing it the game the way the game wants me to, but I can see them. <laughs> right, let's go this way. I can also see where they are on the ceiling, too. <laughs> this message, this message will self-destruct. Oh. Blood? Or just someone got too aggressive with their fountain pen. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's blood. Yep. That's... <sighs> Only Connor would lick it. Oh, wow. That's a lot of blood. <laughs> this. Oof. This can't believe they just leave them here as well, though. Yeah, if I just avoid these things. Hotari, don't do this. We defend ourselves, but we don't kill on this scale. This I wonder if savagery. we are no going to find thing. out that the... Bloodless rebellion. Um, crystals make you more aggressive or something. I don't know if we should keep going. So much death. I don't want to end up like them. We'll make sure they didn't die for nothing. What we learn here could save the rest of your people. Okay. Okay. I hope I wasn't Whatever supposed to let them wait here. It made the Illidians abandon the mines. Let's find out what they're so scared of. Okay. Is this the effects oh. of an Illidian disruptor? Yes. Disruptors are cruel weapons. <laughs> well, I've set you for the next uh, next few and weeks. Both sides <laughs> took a beating. I wonder if my microphone settings have changed. Because I'm not, like... I don't think I've... Like, you know, Spooktober, I, uh, you know, screamed plenty of times. The Hatari fortified the side of the room opposite the door. It's a good tactic, but... I think they haven't the changed them. The aren't going to stop fully armed Illidian soldiers. How did they win? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, that is that is so exciting, Brad. Have Footless. you got your new, um... Validian boots. Running back decorations for it. The way we came. Oh. Okay. Well, 
Well, I suppose the disruptors like Tylus. What? What kind of weapon did this? This is like nothing I've ever seen or heard of. Make like Some meaty chunks. Does this. Thought you were gonna get some bee themed. What else can you tell me? Bee themed decorations. Unknown origin lodged inside the Elodian skull emits a low level of tetrametric radiation. The crystals appear to have grown from inside the flesh after initial penetration. <laughs> the process ruptured several internal organs randomly. The process may not have been fatal instantly. Oh, sad Rooney. Alright. Elidians have four hearts, all are stopped, and the veins that feed them are clogged with crystallized. So, quantity spin crystallization. What an awful way to die. Uh, so if it doesn't, yeah, that makes sense, Brad. So That's a good technology that surpasses their own. In the hands of the hotel, I bet you're excited to take it for a for test drive. Where did this weapon come from? Well, the crystals are giving off tetrametric pulses. If I set my Imagine if this is the mirror universe. Frequency, what a shocker. No, because there, there isn't a... Right to the source. Okay, radiation is visible through your tricorder and will lead you... Lead the way to scannable objects. The four green lights on the left will fill to indicate the tricorder is facing the source of the radiation. Okay. That's, uh... Well, I did kind of want to still have a look at what was going on here. This makeshift barrier forced the Elidians to enter from the service corridor, creating a choke point. Quite the advanced tactic for a species that's never waged war. This Elidian tried to run. They didn't let him. The Elidians shot to kill. But if they killed him, why was he shot in the back? Oh, you're right. The shot came from the side the Hatari were defending. We don't kill our own. He wasn't just caught in the middle. Alien, have a good luck. Killed by the same crystallization as the Elidian. Whose side was the killer on? Yeah, this is quite, um, quite good investigation. From the blast marks, it looks like the Elidians had far greater firepower. Okay, let's, um... Some delta radiation here. Coming from... There we go. Delta. It's through here. Mm -hmm. You do have that. Yes. Cute. Red right? cute. This here on purpose. One way to find out. Need any help? I wasn't quite finished looking around. I'm sure we'll be all right. Oh my god. Let's hope they don't hear this either. Cunky. We'd get to see all the turkeys. This concentration Oops. of tetrametric radiation has never turkeys. been recorded. Whatever they're hiding, it's right through here. Well, I'm not. I'm not quite done looking around yet, though. I'm not. Not done. I'm not done. I'm not done in this room. Oh my god! How annoying. No, can I not? Okay, no, we can't. Well. Must have been the wind. 
Yeah, hopefully I... Oh, I, I also scanned some people that got shot in the back, so hopefully strange. that's important. The crystals are increasing, growing okay. outward. Do you reckon? The soil. It's like she, an infection. She's gonna uh, attack us if... Uh, inside towel. Oh, this is cool. Like, if it increases aggressiveness. Wow. Oh my goodness, this is pretty. Incredible. This is definitely not Hotari. Wow. It's the remnants of the Takan Empire. I don't think we should be here. This is exactly where we should be. I'm not sure. Every strange thing we've seen in this system, it might all come from this room. We need to learn everything we can. Okay. Well. Right. How are you holding up? I knew Galvin and Citron were dangerous. Now I know they're more powerful than I could have imagined. But the worst of it is knowing they got there by turning our people against their own. Okay. I kind of just want to look at it, you know, because it's also pretty. I almost don't want to have my tricorder, like, covering it up. So pretty. Wow. They wanted me to scan something. Can your device read this? It can roughly translate the words, but we don't have enough Taconian language on record to understand how it's structured. Oh well. Well, it is on passive scan mode, so... That looks like a gun. Quantitized spin quantization resembles a weapon in form and may have been used on the victims in the mines. Focuses energy to perform a replication of matter. Oh, it's a replicator. Cool. Okay. Uh, apparent control service unknown to the interface with the device. The device's primary function is to transmute lithium into this quantized crystalline compound. Possibly for the creation of weapons. Do you think one of these was used on that Elidian in the tunnels? Such a cruel weapon. Looks when like they some do. Sort of replicator. You have a good sleep. I can't get it to work. It has power. Must be looking for some other kind of authorization. I'm not sure we should, though. Maybe because I've befriended her so much. She won't shoot us. Because <laughs> I think I think that might be where the story is going. That she will, you know, the weapon will allure. The weapon will be alluring. Yeah. The crystals. Jeez, scared me. Wow. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> so unsettling. Chaos control. <laughs> but he's enthusiastic. I'll give him that. Maybe unsettling, but he is enthusiastic. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. It's the Chaos Emeralds. Christ, don't let him anywhere near the crystals. Oh, there we go. Found it. I do get that excited when I open a new jar of mayo, you're right. Complex life form contained within each crystal. Oh, how interesting. Life form? There's something alive in these tiny crystals? That's what it says, but hard to imagine how that's possible. Hello in there! Hello! Our science division will have a field day with this. We need oh. to study it on the ship. Hang on, I've got a theory. What if one of these life forms has inhabited our girlfriend? You know, our girlfriend from the ship? Who is being a weird? What if she is being, like, taken over by one of those life forms? Yeah, we need to study this. Miranda, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, possessed. Crystallized lithium compounds. Its internal structure is extremely ordered. Fact. It could be that everybody has the been possessed. The these crystals on a subatomic level suggests a storage device of some kind. Okay, storage device for Energy consciousness. Energy levels are both stable and ordered, like information. Some of them appear to be depleted. And what kind of information would you that's why... Storage devices of consciousness. And that's why the Hatari are acting so wackily, because they're not the Hatari anymore. They're actually. Jara? I see it. What's I think we should go. Someone turned it on. I think There's we should no leave. But maybe the device I saw in the palace can send a signal? If that's the case, we may not be alone for long. Let's hurry. What, and leave? Why aren't we leaving? Was a transporter pad. Why aren't we leaving? Oh god. Stupid. This is stupid. This is stupid. We need to leave. Quite simply, we need to go back to the ship. We have got we've got enough. I can hear him very cl very quietly in the background muttering this to me. Can't be right. Wow. Oh, oh. there. Oh. Out almost oh. joules of energy. I assume oh, yeah. it's enough to power this entire quadrant. This amount of power, the the kind of radiation it's putting out, it's it's the cause of the storm. The warp disrupting beam, all of it. I like how Shadow we seems to be to the pausing. They have to know about this. Come on, let's. <gasps> I think we need to hide. Quickly, we have to. Hide. Oh my God, I'm panicking, lads! I'm panicking. I'm gonna cry. This is too uh, too much anxiety for me. It's like he paused to listen to the um, dialogue. <laughs> You're okay. <gasps> Even if we missed a kachow. This is outrageous! I demand you let me go! No need to complain. You're about to receive a gift. The 
beyond your wildest imagination. Oh my god. If Beam me home, Scotty. <gasps> Do we need to save him? I would have cried already. He's, is he going to see that there's one missing? Oh no. There's this piteous weeping coming what from. Is that? What are you doing? You'll see soon enough. Uh, I can influence the course of the negotiations. I can make sure the Hotari get the better end of the bargain. So can I. Oh, is it gonna Diablo style go into his brain? <gasps> oh my god. It scared the shit out of me. I've sweat like my hands have sweated everywhere. So I think it's going to turn out that she's also one. Shall we? <laughs> In the interest of my heart, Jesus Christ. These are sometimes more, more stressful than like StarCraft and other games we've played. Can I save this game? I presume I can. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it'll let me save here. Oh, Shall we leave it here for... I guess maybe Monday we'll play this. You wanna play this Monday? Maybe Monday? I'm assuming it's auto saving. Yeah. Cause it's got good replayability as well. If, um, if you're watching this and then wanna play it yourself, I think that you can get quite a different experience uh, from it, you know, and it doesn't like, it doesn't spoil it too much. I think with Telltale games that you can get, um, enough of your own experience from it no you might oh we will be back on monday with this yeah i guess maybe half-life we do have half-life to play so i think uh next week it'll probably be this and half-life so maybe we'll play half-life on tuesday or wednesday we'll see it'll be one of the ways around i probably want to play this on monday because i've enjoyed it so much and then on friday next week we have our special olympic themed stream yeah yeah this is the last stream of the month and once again i'm going to give you my best joke of the month which is i will see you next month yeah yeah i'll see you next month mm -hmm. yeah you're gonna see the pro athlete olympic champion playing oh i won't tell you what we're playing but <laughs> thanks for the stream baby Ka, 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 <laughs> okay. I feel like the TTS voices are a little bit more prompt. I feel like they're like quite, you know, before there was a fairly big gap, but now I feel like it's quite prompt. Maybe they have improved things. Thank you very much. No, I haven't watched GDQ. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. Um, I did watch the PC game show just you know <laughs> i did watch this other gaming thing yeah now they're full of energy they're full of well, I'm not sure full of energy applies to david though but <laughs> oh thank you very much for being here lads i will see you on monday then at one hope you guys have a good weekend don't do anything don't do anything i wouldn't do well i mean i guess you could you could eat like eat soya and stuff which i wouldn't do but yeah, no, I will see you on Monday. Just don't do anything. Just just sit and chat until I come back on Monday. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here. I hope you enjoyed Star Trek. And I will see you on Monday. Bye-bye, lads. Bye-bye.